Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Wormhole Wednesday. <laughs> Let's do it. We're me. here playing some Keyforge Mass Mutation. I believe this is set number four. I'm losing count. I'm losing count of the days and the months four. and the years. Uh, but this is Mass Mutation. We streamed this a couple weeks back, and I was a bit disappointed because I didn't get any Mass Mutation. I wasn't disappointed because it was uh, probably the best Key. I mean, undoubtedly the best Keyforge set that has ever been printed. I I think that's fair. I, I need about another three months of playing, uh, which is going to be unfortunate because we don't have Tuesday Night Seal at the store because we're closed right now. But uh, what I will say is that um, it was super fun. I had a blast playing, and uh, I loaded my decks onto my decks of Keyforge uh, account afterwards. And this is crazy. We actually happened to hit in that second game last stream my two highest ranking decks, uh, even just in terms of ability to generate amber. When the we had second the, like, game when it was insane? Game, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We went from like really like grubby, like, you know, it's like when you're playing a new, a new card game and you have bad decks at first, and it's just like we we're both trying to figure out how to do stuff. <laughs> then the second game, we were just in like turbo mode all of a sudden, and it was crazy. And they, all three games are actually incredible. So I'm, I'm excited. Um, People saying stuff about the brightness. Is that all? all is good? that true? Is the is the actual shot too bright? It could be. Actually, you know what? I'll bet it's the store. Hold on, let me shut mm. the door. Uh, some air. Alex Becker, uh, calling it right. Let's at some at some point, we we got past this, but he says, "Anyone remember those early streams where after a hundred messages, we've, got, we've already passed? It's fantastic. But the response we've gotten from these streams, the participation, the people being on chat, uh, has been fantastic. So it's been so great to see that we're actually working through a Discord." set up proposals process our internal workings here um, to get that going because it's like we kind of want people to be capable of doing that even when we're not live uh, people have been asking us for it over and over again so more on that soon but one of the things we were doing early on during uh, isolation was uh, a certain point in i would ask where people were watching from because it, it was super cool at the time right we, we were streaming one day a week we were doing marvel mondays as of last like august and then uh when this all hit we've been doing five days a week and uh just kind of learning how to stream and whatnot. So I would love to know where is everyone from and uh, where are you watching from? Because it really is astounding that we can gather from all over the world, hang out, talk about some games, play some games, have a good time, and just kind of feel like we're back in normal a little bit. Um, Rob Trotter saying, Indiana. Uh, Chris says, I play so much more if I could crank out a few games with my registered decks in my off time. That's right. Wouldn't uh, that be cool? Ayan saying, this like is going online? big enough for Zach to ask everyone to smash that like button. <laughs> Do it. Smash it. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Whatever. I'm just Smash kidding. that bell. Uh, smash I, that like button. Share I, with your friends. I've been doing some research in my ability to be able to basically stream from home, my, my new house that I'm moving into. And that led me to watch a lot of like... Uh, it's amazing, isn't content it? Content creators. YouTube or, is awful. Uh, whatever. And all of them are like... Hit the subscribe button. It's like right here. They do this, and then it's you gotta hit the bell. Uh, and it's just like you, you start the seeing. The, you yeah. see all these different people, and then you start seeing. It's it's like when you start seeing the blogs. They're like five blogs you should create to get people to your website. Right. And right. then you go, and then that these advice is being SEO followed tips. by all kinds of people trying to make content. It's a self-generating uh, depravity, basically. Here's the thing: if you want to get notified whenever we do stuff, subscribe, which you already know. And if you uh, because if you. you you got a big brain. If you like this video, click the thumbs up to show us that you like it. It's a pretty simple system, really. We don't really ask for much. That's right. It's, uh, uh, you don't have to do anything. You can just watch it, too. E-Rock here from Orlando, Florida. Watch it all you want. Uh, watch I, it tomorrow. I doubt it's actually The Rock. His name watch is E-Rock e from Florida. But did you hear the news about The Rock? No. He purchased the XFL. No way. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That old thing, it just won't die. By the way, you can imagine, though, the kind of deal you could get on right now. With the pandemic, people can't do it. It's like that asset is just waiting to get bought by someone. And actually, if anybody can pull it off, it's The Rock, by the wow, way. Wow, that's amazing. Seriously? You brought it from, from Vince, right? Didn't Vince have it? I don't know idea who owned it, actually. Carney. Uh, Rob Trotter from Anderson, Indiana. What up? Ian from Toronto. Nice. That's the first international I've seen. Savannah, Minneapolis. Tim from Tulsa. Hope you're doing well, Tim Aiken. Elliot, you have to smash it. You cannot just press the button. Joe Platt from Oxford. What's up in the house? I, I always smash that. Do you feel this way? Like button. Do you feel like the branding on Oxford? Is like very strong. Like when I think Oxford, Oxford University, when I hear the word Oxford, the I think like is strong. reputable, classy, like nice. I think of it as like the oldest institution of learning in the world, which See, it I, isn't. 
I, I don't think. I didn't know if that's true probably, or not. You could have sold me on that. I would have gone right down that road. <laughs> you probably are. No, you got the Rhodes Scholarship that happens in Oxford. It's kind of the big prestigious it just thing. It seems prestigious. It's, it's good something, branding. There's something like, about the, that's, the Brits that seem a little more sophisticated than I us think, Americans. I think a lot of cities and locations don't take their branding as seriously enough. Yeah? Like You mean like Claremore? We care more? That's horrible. <laughs> A there, we'll take it. <laughs> uh, so, Uruguay, round them up. Yeah, Lansing, Michigan. What up, Dave? Virginia Beach, Joel Delaney. Oh, Milan, Italy. Camochi. That's what's up, awesome. Spencer Owen? Good to see you. All the way see down in San there. Antonio, Texas, down by the river. David, what's up? Max Hill from Brooklyn. See, this is awesome. I mean, we're all over Kansas City with Joshua. What up, Josh Trevino? I know you. <laughs> I, I can't keep keep up. This is crazy. Apparently, uh, YouTube's dropping a little bit, but if you refresh, it will uh, be fixed. Because we're we're rock solid on our end. So, uh, and you can always switch to Twitch too. We're on Twitch right now. Facebook. Circado from uh, Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Tim in London. Bahrain. John Bosley. Awesome. That's a that's a wild that's one. That's a new one I haven't seen. Lexington, Kentucky, from Assinade. What about Cardiff, Wales? Did you see that one earlier? I like Wales. What like, up, Spencer? It says, great to still do a scene. Remember content. that I love turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. Norway from Andre Torsvik. Tim Boyle from London, UK. Nice, nice town. And it's Jacob, small little town. being here, the last one we'll get to before we dive in, listening while driving my UPS truck around in the Chicago suburb. How cool is so that? Thanks for the streams. Cool, Jacob. I, hey, I cheers. never really think about that. I think about people sitting in, at like home at their desk or on their couch watching from all over. Yeah. But you could definitely have this on when you're just like doing your job. Dad, actually, so my, my father will turn it on from time to time, and he says it's just, like, weirdly soothing to really? have it on in the background, yeah. Well, it's probably because we're not, like, smash that like button <laughs> uh, as much as we're just, like, it'd be, it would be I like just being the in the room with us, right? Like, ordered, yeah. <laughs> I just had my, ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you could go capture that get over here from last week's Mortal yeah. Kombat stream. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, it just uh, it would just be like being in the room with us. And if you were alone at home in your office a lot, then, like... What that, more could you ask for I know, being Zach, in the room with Zach us? Zach and Steven on uh, tap, so to speak. <laughs> One thing that I've, I've realized, I just tested it out. So I have Alexa's in my house. Alexa, the device from Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, does your wife know? <laughs> I'm probably going to switch uh, just because I, I don't trust Amazon, honestly. Oh, Bezos is going to space. Did you I mean, know that? I do like that. Space is space is interesting to here's me. The, I would, here's what I was thinking about this morning, though, and it, it, this is a, apropos of probably of very little. But um, are we going to look back? So let's say we go to advanced civilization a thousand years from now, and when we did that, you know, previously, we well, thought, we won't do that at all. We'll probably be dead. Well, we thought the year two thousand was going to be like you know flying trucks. Little did we know twenty twenty was going to be way crazier. Yeah, yeah, just more of the same, basically. But we're going to get to, let's say, a distant civilization, thousands of years pass, and there's you know, 17 planets. The federation of, of uh, you know, humankind has reached the stars. And they tell themselves... Star like, Trek. They tell themselves their own history, right? Through the lens of the great, incredible heroes of humankind, or Bezos and Elon Musk and whatnot. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, eventually the alternate history comes out, and... This is something I've been, I guess I've been thinking about for a long time. The alternate history. You were really comes ready out, for this. And then there are people that are like, "Yeah, that's true." But what you're not telling people in the history of books was like, these people achieved vast amounts of wealth, and the rest of the world was left with very little, and was you know essentially just like fending for themselves at the at the same time. And understanding how that historical narrative can be applied like throughout all of history. So I'm thinking like now, you know, we think of our our explorers, Christopher Columbus and whatnot, now has come under you know extreme yeah. scrutiny for those kinds of things. Are we going to look back? Is Bezos going to be like the hero champion of Earth, but then eventually will become just another like, ah, but he did it on the backs of... I mean, that depends on how hard he wins. I guess. Because they do say winners <laughs> write history. And whether or not the Earth is around to tell the story. Yeah, well, if he goes to space and they start a whole thing, he can tell the history he wants, whatever he wants it to be, right? Maybe That's he's true. the creator of all things. And maybe no one else is there to even uh, counter that because he atomized us with his Skynet technology. <laughs> Although Elon Musk is doing that Starlink thing, and it actually is probably going to be the best way for me to get internet on the property that I'm on in the next year. Nice. It's supposed to be worldwide in the next year. Well, he's... He, he's 500 megabytes a second. That seems good. Yeah, from a satellite. From, from the From air. anywhere. So it's going to be yeah. $80 a month. 
I would do that. Anywhere in the world. I might do that. And I, even have, I even have the landlines on tap just to push forward the idea. Yeah, it's cool, right? <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, 1,400 satellites. What I really want, though, my dream is like the end of things is like I just leave Earth knowing that like I'm going to go to space and that's going to be the end. Whatever is out there is okay. out there. Shoot my corpse into the moon, that kind of a thing? No, nah, it's more like yeah. reti retire and be like, yeah, send me on a really risky mission to like right. maybe we land on a planet and set up civilization or maybe we miss and just drift off into space. I'll, go, I'll go on that journey with you. That's, that seems like a good like, all right, I, I did my thing. I'm out of here. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> see you, <actually>. kids. <laughs> I'd actually just get shot in a direction and just see what happens. Yeah. Ultimately. I mean, worst thing is what would happen if you didn't do it. Yeah, you'd die. Inevitably, yeah, it's gonna, eventually going to be over. Let's uh, journey to a different planet. How about the Crucible? What is this? The story of uh, Keyforge is there's a um, essentially a, a, a world in which all things are, are happening. The Crucible, right? And then uh, so uh, basically, you can insert whatever you want into it. Is what, more or less how it works. What I've heard is there's this like planet that is called the Crucible. I think it's the Crucible, and basically the like Crucible. the Archons, which are the characters or the whoever's controlling the planet. Have gone around and basically like ported pieces of civilization from all kinds of different planets on this one one world. Uh, so there's sections of this world of all these different things going on, and then uh, you know the goal is to basically is the, to ascend uh, as an archon right. and learn the, the deeper truths of reality. That's my goal here on Earth. Hold on, let so, me get, let me get my scanner out. So I certainly understand that. What are the and the blue cards are what you're looking for, right? I mean they they have the they're they're that, better than that normal. means they're enhanced. Um, and then there's something that identifies it. Let me get that scan on. I got a Lyco alien and uh, I got these Did weird uh, diamonds. Lyco alien, Umbra alien. Interesting. Aliens, eh? Aliens, yeah. I heard Mars is coming back in that next set. Did you see that new water faction? <laughs> oh, you know I did. Unfathomable or what have you? That's right. Ooh, lots of blues. Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, they're a little evil for me, but I'm into it. it reminds but me a little mermaid. I was terrified of Ursula oh, as a kid. Oh, nice. A lot of blues and three sins. Oh, just rolling in on the sin deck. Just huh? swooshed it. What's a heist night? I'm excited about this. This is one of the coolest things about Keyforge. I still, even before this set, there's an, I didn't know. I haven't seen all the cards. You having pro problems over there? I'm gonna have to get a knife. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Okay. Apparently, Mars is not coming in the next set. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm not even going to look at the cards. I'm going to shuffle up and we're going to do this. Let's go. Uh, my deck, by the way, I just registered it. It's 3 S R I space K period E R O S C A P Aeroscap. <laughs> what? 3 K Aeroscap. Mine is Rebel Deltrami. R E B E L D E L T R A M I. I like that a lot. Let's dive in, shall we? Let's go on in. David saying, in Marvel's Secret Wars from the 80s, the Beyonder created a planet out of pieces of different planets and brought Earth's villains and heroes there. Kind of like the Crucible. Nice. A lot of things happened in the 80s. I happened in the 80s, actually. Yep. Aside from those uh, moments, it was more or less, as far as I can tell, the worst of everything. But I'm sure that's kind of, you know, I'm sure that's kind of a, I don't know. maybe so, a subjective take. I'm sure the <laughs> people that lived through the 30s and 40s would have a case to make. I mean, looking back at, like, 90s fashion, I did think it was normal at the time. So I think all sins are forgiven when it comes to the 80s. Jordan, I cannot condone what you're doing, <laughs> but I think it's hilarious. <laughs> wow, that'd be hilarious. Andrew, try. Have you tried refreshing your uh, YouTube feed? Saying it's uh, dropping. I, I'd be curious to know too if we need to. I mean, we're rock solid. Is Restream showing you any business on that? Let me see. I guess Alex Becker's comments hilarious. People are saying that they were able to refresh and get it done. I don't. It, it's got to be whatever their server is probably just confused. Alex asking, are we going to still stream from our spaceship? Oh, Benjamin Dodd here. I already signed up to buy those sweet new Dark Amber tokens. Well, thank you for that. That's worth noting, guys. We do have uh, these Dark Amber available for a limited time. I think we're only going to do one run mm -hmm. let me get of those. A, let me get a link to that. So uh, now's the time. If you don't get them now, you'll probably uh, not have a chance. We might bring them back over the holidays. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Yeah, so this is basically limited edition. They're up for pre-order. I'm going to link to them in a second once I get there. And... Uh, 
we'll be making those soon. These dark keys, um, these were an old uh, exclusive uh, special. Did we do that for the holidays or was it for a Keyforge? It was a subscription promo. Subscription promo. I think it was the first or set two subscriptions came with those. Those are great, man. The black keys, especially with these, the best way to promote an exclusive item is to show off the other exclusive items to show people that, hey, Here's you better get in. Here's things you can get. Uh, these are the, we did these holiday tokens. They're in the silver and gold sparkly, which I love, but they look just fire in there with the black on black. Yeah. And we'll purple, probably do some more purple, stuff look at the that. holidays. That also works yeah. in a real way. It's good. Yeah, the holidays are coming up, weirdly. It's going to be the strangest holiday season. You guys hip to that? I mean, it's just going to be like, what? What can we, is it even a, th I mean, what? Are we supposed to, are we okay? Is everything okay? Are we going to meet our families? Are we going to have Christmas? Are we going to have Thanksgiving? I'm not planning on it. Yeah? I might That's host for, reasons host for like from my very, <laughs> very, uh, yes, correct. Uh, I uh, might host a small gathering for Thanksgiving. Uh, where, I saw a good question. Uh, oh, man. Where did it go? It disappeared. Someone's asking uh, in Rage what it does. So basically, if you have an Enraged token, the next time you activate that creature, if it can attack, it must Even's attack. Even. Even. Even's across the, the bow. Okay. Man, you know, don't you feel... I feel like a... I feel like we've been doing, we've been doing video for a very long time and primarily produced video, which which was done almost exclusively in a single, uh, almost always in a single take, um, which is how we were able to produce so much without just, you know, essentially going bankrupt. But uh, getting into the live stream like this and going hard for like four, four and a half months at this point. Week 20. It really, I feel so liberated to uh, not care at all that we're being on, we're live streaming right now. You're getting you're getting uncut, raw, uncensored. Exactly, Zach and Steven here. It's, it's real life. This is real life. Nothing has changed. Nothing is different. This is what it would be like, literally, if you were hanging out at any of our houses. We also got super cozy, just straight up talking about what we're working on yeah. from products and whatnot. Yeah. Trump, you you threw the Arkham board proto or the Mythos board prototype, and it was just like, all right, here we go. I'm an open book. Lion Day has a, a good question. Flesh and Blood did announce a buy a box promo. Will subscribers to Flesh and Blood get both the buy a box promo and the scar for a scar? Good question, Lion Day. So that's a uh, little promotion that's going out only to brick and mortar retail stores. Which we uh, are. Which we are, but we can't. Th basically, you have to separate your channels. So we'll be sending the subscriptions. That's an online channel. So that's a, uh, that will just be the scar for a scar exclusive promo. So the subscription is the only way to get the scar for a scar. If you also want to try to get those um, foil, uh, uh, they're not called Phoenix Born. I literally just called them Phoenix Born in my head. Heroes, champions, heroes, champions, uh. etc. You know the avatars. You know the main characters, etc. Uh, you'll have to do that through a local retailer, which is very. It's cool that they're doing that. That they're able to kind of, you know, spread some love around. And we have a lot of people that are doing uh, a number of boxes through the subscription service because they like what we're doing and because they also want those promos. I like to think it's maybe an 80-20 split, but I think it's probably more a 10-90. Uh, and then they're also getting a box or two and doing draft and seal at their local stores uh, if and when those are open. So yeah, spread spread it around if you can, or get one box through the subs, get one box through the local store, um, whatever I mean, makes the, sense for you. There are a ton of people whose local stores are either closed or don't care about flesh and blood too, so. Uh, Chad has here asking, I'm trying to get all set up to stream on Twitch. Any tips? Yeah. I'll give you some tips for sure. Um, I've been working on that same project. So uh, the main things you're going to have to deal with is, do you want to do a, basically the quality, the question is going to be quality primarily. First, how much money do you have? And second, then we can determine how much quality can you get. Um, so the lowest tier, and uh, they're good. I mean, this is, the entry tier is solid because the technology has gotten better. Just look at plugging in USB, a USB camera, and a USB microphone into a computer and streaming directly with something like OBS. Um, that's going to be your easiest way to do it. You plug it in, you, you have your Twitch you know, information, you put that into OBS, you set up your workspace, etc. 
you push it up, you're streaming now all of a sudden. So you've got your camera through USB and you've got your, your audio. The next step up after that though, if you really wanna go, is you get actual equipment. Like we're using Fuji X-T3 cameras. We're running them into a video switcher, a Roland V1 HD, and that's gonna compress all of those signals together. It sends that out via HDMI cord into a capture card, which we're using the Elgato 4K capture card that converts it to a USB signal into a computer, and then we're streaming it up through Wirecast into Restream's servers, and then Restream distributes it to Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube simultaneously. Um, that actually sounds very impressive when I say it like that. It's, but it's taken us a long not time easy. to build to that. I um, think little things, though, are like if you lighting. get a decent mic. Yeah. So there's like the Yeti mics that are USB. It's like if 120 you, bucks. If you really want to go crazy, you get XLRs into a capture device, but that's next level. And then lighting. I think lighting is a big deal. Lighting um, is a huge deal. And if you look up how to light something, you'll get 7,000 articles from 7,000 people with different ideas. I'm, I'm honestly, Jonathan's not here. He sets up our lighting, and I think we're a little off right now. So I'm probably, like you see, I have a little bit of shine going on. Our backlight is probably not set up quite enough. But the LED panels that we have in here, I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars in lighting just for this little room. So at best, you can get like a halo light or just something, as long as you can illuminate your face or whatever it is, you know, I presume it's your face uh, that you're wanting to show off. Whatever it is that you're uh, lighting, just get light on it because then the cameras don't have to compensate by blowing up like your highlights. Because anytime a camera is having to take a dark scene and make it lighter, it's gonna introduce a lot of noise. Um, so you just want to take as much of the processing off of the camera and just do it through dedicated lighting. And that can be a lamp, that can be a, a white piece of acrylic with a window next to it so you're bouncing daylight to where it needs to go. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But you can get set up probably simply for a couple hundred bucks if you wanted to. <clears throat> there's that. Um, I Today's side tutorial. I won't take a mulligan. Do I go, wait, do I, I get seven? You get seven. Okay. And, and you, then do I go first as well? You go first, yeah, but you only have to play one card. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah, so if you mulligan, you go down to six, but then you play a card and you draw back up at the end, so you end up with a full hand either way. I mulligan because my opening hand was bad. <laughs> Darth Vader is bad. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we want to do. His assistant is a mouse. Interesting. Okay, wow. I get it. Ian says, uh, that Shine and Steven is essentially his foil version. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're trying to avoid. It was, the lighting was set up great until I shaved my head. And then, obviously now, like, Zach is the same setup, but his entire vibe is absorbing 20% of <laughs> the Earth's light. All the light, light. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta contrast the paleness of the skin with the clothes, you know what I mean? Also, set your white balance on your camera if, if you have the option. Make sure your white balance is set well. Um, that can change everything. All right, dude. I have a lot of cards that are going, like literally all of the cards are going to be good later. Good. So I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, and I'll good. tell you what, right? There's so no like, penalty to mulligan on the first turn as first player. What I don't like is this is a nice combo that I had in my hand. It's Implosion, which is a story of friendly and enemy creature. And then Bonesaw, if a friendly creature was destroyed, it enters play ready. So mm -hmm. that's nice to have together, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But right now, it's not good. Uh, we've got Nexus is the only first turn play that's reasonable. Elusive, I can use an artifact if it reminds. So if you had a hand where you're going to play artifacts, now I'm threatening that. Yep. But then two to each non-mutant, four to a creature that's not on a flank, capture three when you play it. This isn't going to be useful for a while. Old Brown is good, though. So it's like, eh, I could play Nexus, hope that you blow up your board and have a bunch of creatures in amber and then totally destroy you with shadows, or I could pitch it and try to get a better like general starting hand. Yeah. I agree with that. It. I just want to look the, at more cards. There's, there's very little risk in mulliganing. 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 Because mulligan. <laughs> <clears throat> you only get to play one card either way, right? So you can always play a card, but going second, being able to play, you want to be able to have a decent going second turn. I just shuffled those backwards. And I did that in honor of you. Thank you. Yeah, just, just to really... I'll, I'll know that this deck has been used by Steven. Because <laughs> that's how that works. Oh, Dude, man. some of this art I didn't really fully appreciate last time. We got something going on? I'm just watching Bryce having to deal with Adobe products, and it's mm, absolutely great. hilarious to me. Uh, Snorette. <laughs> the art on Snorette is actually, like, fabulous. 
when Fabulous. I zoom in. It's just a good color color palette. Oh wow! Okay. Asp. Ooh, the yeah, see, this is much better now. What happened? I haven't heard anything about this. What happened with in one of the sets, last set, we got cards from the future. Did any of those cards anomalies come out this set, and or why aren't there anomalies again in this set? Francis the Economist is. I'm sorry, the uh, Massis Asp is coming in. Macus. It, ha it has poison, so if now it, I'm just like threatening if it any hits, creatures. It ships. Yeah, if it hits, it ships right to the discard pile. Orb of Wonder? What's that? What's Orb, Orb of Wonder, Wonder came, it was a, an anomaly from the last set, so it mm. came out in this set. Right on. We'll be down on the card pops here for a second, guys, too. Don't worry. <laughs> We're coming back. Adobe makes the worst products on the planet. But they're the only one that makes them. It's, the, it's a devastation. The dangers of, of a monopoly. Yeah, right? It's the same with the electric company I'm dealing with. Well, utilities are a little different. <laughs> There's a reason for that. She's like, yeah, they just tell me how they do it. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. They're like, what are you going to do? Not get it? <laughs> I think I could technically sue him if it wasn't good enough. But, you know, I'm sure that's never going to be worth my time. Why are the question marks? I'm, oh, uh, we have the question mark on the question mark up yeah. right now, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's right in front of us. Like, <laughs> can see. Hold on. Actually, I can turn that off for a second. Now that I've got the wireless mouse. <laughs> Nailed it. I have the power now. Uh, all right. Whenever we get back up, I'll. Uh, I'll just you mean to proceed? Back. Yeah, like we keep playing. People know, right? Pavy says stream dead. It's just the question mark. All right. I'm gonna play subject Kirby. His play when I, I may play a non Starlands creature this turn. Subject when he, Kirby. When he plays fights weird, or reaps. That's some weird, uh, weird art on that. I like to say that because nobody can see it. That's it is weird. He's going it? through some things. Uh, so I'm going to put into play Gamgee uh, off of his ability. Then I'm going to play a Blast Shielding on him, which gains me an Amber and also gives him two armor. And then I will pass. That's uh, that's all very scary. It's only medium. All right, Bryce, scary. we got you. Thank you. <clears throat> so when he plays... when. I play him, I fight with him, or I reap with him. I can play a non-Starlands creature, so that's really good. So I can just poison and knock him out, right? Yep. I would take two, and he would die. He has skirmish, he'd take none. Yeah. Well, who's laughing now? Come and get it. All right, I'll do shadows. Huh. Will I? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Um, all right, let's ask you. All right, he gone. <laughs> yeah, who's laughing now, buddy? How about another uh, uh, another little play here? Let's do uh, Dark Wave, two to each non-mutant. He gone. Including your asp? Yeah, it's got not him. great, but you got to play your cards, right? <laughs> right? Right. Tell me it's okay. And then we'll play uh, Francis. And then I can play Lights Out even if I can't return to enemy creatures. Or can I not? Yeah, you can play it. You can always you play it for Amber. Amber. Yep. Oh, okay. Here's your return them to your hand. I'll return them to your discard pile, more like. Done. What up, Pappy? Uh, Adam says, what are your thoughts on the new Tide mechanic coming? How will this affect previous sets? Have you seen that? I mean, I've seen the what, the idea of it, but I don't know enough to really care about it at this point. I'll show you. you you'll be interested in this. I mean, yeah, see, that, that'd be cool. I, it does seem like... So I guess I'd say if it were me, I... This is, I mean, it's a, it's a tale as old as time, right? You're, you're going to... You've heard this for a thousand years. I would just try to play more to the fundamentals of Keyforge, which is building an app. <laughs> My man. <laughs> the only new mechanic I want is online play. Everything else can go away. I think my favorite way of putting it, I finally figured out last last week, which was take the, the $200,000 you're supposed to be giving away at tournaments. Yeah. Right. Build an app. <laughs> Anyways, so basically, it's either high tide or low tide. I can't find the card. And when it's uh, whatever... 
the other one, it's like you can take chains to basically flip it. So you can mm. take chains to either make it high tide or low tide. Okay. And then you have cards that reference better or worse during high or low tide. Um, the thing I like the most from the announcement, actually, was the evil twin idea, which is playing to Keyforge's fundamentals. That's right. Which is you have a deck, and then they can basically print the exact same deck, except for it's the evil twin version. So, like, in this case, I have 3K arrows staff, and you could have... <laughs> 3K Aerostaff's <laughs> Evil Twin, and all of a sudden, me. it's, it's kind of cool because you're collecting, and it's like, well, if there's an Evil Twin version <laughs> of my deck, I would be interested in owning it, right? Or vice versa. Or when you fight in the field of battle and you run into your Evil Twin, it's the same card list, but the, mm. the, it's Evil Twin versions of all the stuff in it. Like that's, I think that's very clever. And it's something you could only pull off in Keyforge. <clears throat> yeah, and I think Enhance is an example of playing to the fundies really well. It's like, yo, everything should feel different. I mean, I would start... I would start experimenting with, can we procedurally generate cards? Like, what if this asked, for instance, you randomly had a, a assortment of keywords and strengths and defense values and fact, like, you could have one slot maybe in every deck that was a totally unique creature that nobody would ever see again. I mean, I think that's kind of what it's they're doing interesting. a little bit with the enhancement <clears throat> icons. That's what right? Enhance is trying to Which do. Which is yeah. like creatures that do a little more. Um, the, I think on the high tide, too, someone was saying it. If, if you guys know exactly the text on it, but apparently you can take three chains to make it high tide. And then I'm pretty sure at some point it, the tide goes down, maybe with your chains. Um, like depending on the lunar cycle? Yeah, exactly. You know, moons and stuff. All right, mine. Yep. <laughs> so I quickly learned this was not a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done with that. And one. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> okay, let's go with this. I am going to play Drekker. He's enhanced with a damage, so I'll do a damage to your Asp. Got him. <laughs> uh, then I'll play Snoret. At the end of each turn, I capture one. Your turn. Yeah. And then I'll play Gluttony. One of my sins. Mm -hmm. Play Gluttony, exalt, exalt Gluttony once for each sin creature. So I have one. Uh, it can reap, move each amber from a friendly creature to my pool. So like if there were like five sins out, you could put five amber on it, and if it stays It'd around long enough to reap, so good. It would you would move all those to your pool. Uh, so into my turn, these are ready. I'll capture one. Purple, purple, and then I will draw back up. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> After an action card is played before you ward this creature. Wow. Okay. I don't mind if I do. Jordan says you could kickstart for an app and online play. I'd I'd write a check right now. Okay. Well, uh, how about some of this? Um, this is a bummer. It's one turn away from greatness. <laughs> we were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. We were this close. Drickers Zach neighbors. says, I'm sure they're working on the unique creature thing, no doubt. Yeah, work on the unique app thing. Damage dealt <laughs> to Drekker's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> ah! neighbors during fights is also dealt to Drekker. You've got a good turn coming up here, man. Well, I'm just uh, snoretting around. Because like, I'm in the point where I don't want, I don't want to have Amber, because you're just going to keep capturing and, and being weird about it. All right, let's get Drekker here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess we'll put him on the end of the chain, so he only has one neighbor to hurt. Uh, then we'll do a Bone Saw here. Bone Saw, I'm going to say Bone Saw is ready at the end, which bone is saw absolutely is ready. hilarious to me. Uh, Mark a Dis. I don't really want to play, but I'm here. Deal two to a creature. Um, two to do? Snoret. Uh, oh no, this. Gosh, his reap ability is so good. So you have to choose this as your next house, which you probably might have wanted to do anyway, because I didn't kill it. Uh, mark of this there. And then uh, Waking Nightmare, I'm going to gain me an amber. Sorry. I'm going to gain me an amber. All right, up to three. And then uh, keys cost plus one for each disc creature in play during your next turn. So keys are going to cost plus A bunch. four or five. Yep. Um, spoiler, I'm not going to be building any keys. Yeah, that's the problem. All right, mine. Mm -hmm. Ready for this party. Let's go disc. You called it. <laughs> it's crazy, actually. Disc is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Bonesaw is ready. 
Uh, yeah, because you can reap and just put these two there, right? So what I can do is I or can steal one. I can use this action with Snaret to move this to my active pool. I can reap to gain one and move this here. Mm. Then I can reap. Do you, do you? This does the same thing from friendly creatures. All of them. That's insane. You don't even need to use his action. Just reap with him. Dude, Gluttony's so good. Gluttony with Snaret is insane. Yeah, I also reap with Snaret. This deck's crazy. Who times. says you weren't going to forge a key? Th this then year. I'll reap with. Well, I can't. It would be next round when I would forge. I'm going to reap with Drekker, and it, when I reap with Drekker, I get a steal one. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool guy. And then for my next trick, let's play a Snudge. Let's just Snudge it up. And then basically now I've got the old Key Forge uh, lock on you. You got to deal with my board or it's mm -hmm. over. I'll deal with your board, all right? Oh, and, and uh, damage dealt to Drekker's neighbors during fights is also dealt to Drekker. Okay, so I'm encouraged to try to kill your uh, your stuff here. Mm, and Snoret moves the action to the common pool, not to my pool. But, okay, and then I think... Gluttony does move it all to mine. At the end of the turn, you capture one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got tricks. Shake, shake, shake. Shake. All right, I'm going to do dis since we're doing the dis off. <clears throat> okay. Bonesaw is going to attack Snaret. Five to four. All right. So you'll deal it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. And I, ca I capture one. I, I, I got you that. that. All right. Yeah. So Snaret goes. Drekker also takes the damage. Mm -hmm. And you get this back. Yep. He's laughing now. Uh, then we'll reap one, steal one. Mine. Mine. Back. Mine. Then... We'll play Imp Lotion uh, to destroy a friendly creature and an enemy creature. I'm going to destroy this bone saw and destroy an enemy creature, and it's going to be uh, Gluttony. No! I'll gain an amber. Need to follow the official guidelines here. And then finally, I'll play your favorite of mine, Infernus. Play a purge up to two cards from a discard pile. You lose amber equal to the number of amber bonus icons on the purged cards. One. So that's going to happen. You probably want to get rid of gluttony, right? And let's get rid of gluttony. Purge on. Ugh. Don't get to forge. You've cleansed me of my sins. Who's laughing now? All right. Draw two. Fine. The Drekker back in the business. Let's go shadows. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Dark Wave, gain one, two damage to each non-mutant creature. Two to each non-mutant. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're good? Distracted? <laughs> two to each non-mutant. So does that mean damage dealt to Drekker's neighbors during fights only? Okay. I'm going to save you some time. I'm playing another one. Okay. So four, four, dead, dead, dead. Board clear. It's all of them. And then we'll play Mutant Cut Purse. He's a mutant. I'm going to attach an opportunist to him. So it gains me an amber. Mm. And it says he has elusive play. This cr creature captures one from an opponent. So he's elusive and he captures one. And then... <laughs> Stands to reason. I will pass. I'm going to discard that card because it's a shadows card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I want to keep you off of these amber things. Oh, wait. What is this? Uh... Maybe I think there's three sins in the stack. It ranges from three to seven. And if you don't have dark amber tokens, how are you supposed to track them? I, I don't think there's a it's just mechanical amber. difference. All right. Mutagenesis Researcher is going to do what? The, what's this symbol? Take away one of your amber? Look at that enhancement. Look at that. I know, she's enhancing everything. She's a researcher. I think the researchers might have more naturally. I want to see this card pop up. The mu what is it called? Mutagenesis. Mutagenesis researcher. Yeah, no, she's got that. Looks like she has that, that byline. Oh, Just she always up. does that? Oh, cool. That's the researcher thing. Very cool. So let's capture one. Yeah. Whee! Uh, then we'll do uh, 
Secure a droid. Hmm. Ooh, this is fun. OK, we'll do it like this. And then we'll do, since Chief Garcia, play, you're at plus two to your forge mm. next turn. <laughs> just, just one short there. Secure a droid on the taunt. And then let's do encounter suit. This is cool. After an action card is played, before resolving its effect, ward this creature. So it is permanently warded every time you play an action card. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's the end of it. Back over to you, old no forge bun. Thanks. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go with shadows. Okay. Mutant cut purse will reap. I'm going to play <laughs> a mutant cut purse and do a damage. Let's do one there to Garcia. Take it. I'm going to play a Lyco Thief. It has the enhancement for one more damage, so we'll do a damage there. And then I'll pass. Mm. Just a little shadows aboard. That shadows board's got to go. Or perhaps it doesn't. Perhaps. Perhaps not. OK, well, let me tell you. You played an action card somewhere in there, didn't you? Uh, no. What's an action card? Action would be. Where's my any key? <laughs> Is that so like an event? It's Laser like an event, event. yeah. Okay. OK. We're taking Star Alliance to the house here. Lyco Alien coming in on the far side, getting taunted by the Secure Droid. Uh, it has a l fight. Look at the top three. Put one into hand and one on the bottom, which is very nice. He's an alien in disguise. He's an alien in disguise. It's like Men in Black up in here. Secret Mars. Secret. Reap. Mm-hmm. You're going to st stop me again somehow? Reap. Keys are plus two. Mm-hmm. Now. You get an elusive there? These have elusive, yeah. The old cut purse. Mm -hmm. So that one's open, open to open season. the party. You know what? Let's see what we've got in hand. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, we're going to reap here. Mm. And then... We're going to play Access Denied here. You can't reap. Mm. Not my mutant cut purse. That's right. I'm going to put it upside down so I remember it's yours. All right. That's it. Mine? Draw to you, yeah. You ready for the, the thing I've been planning? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. All my, my thieves have been gathering to, for this night. The Heist Knight Alpha. Oh, cool. You can only play this card before doing anything oh, else. Oh, you got to forge a key. Oh, yeah, at that's eight, right. yeah. Yeah. So Heist Knight, it's alpha, so I have to do it first. That's so cool. And each I, Friendly Thief? I steal one for each Friendly Ooh. Thief, which is three. Go ahead and just oh, take these beautiful. three. That's beautiful. Because they'd be robbed. I mm -hmm. love the flavor text on this. It says, why steal from, from the bank? <laughs> uh, he can't reap, though, so he's worthless. Just kidding. Uh, these two will reap. Putting the gas on, eh? Yep. And then this one, this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Can you believe it? He's gonna. He's gonna swing at Garcia. You got Ton here. Oh no. He'll swing here. Okay. Back and hit, forth. Hit for three. Yep. You get this one back. I get that one back. <laughs> clean game. Clean game. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. Uh, and then I'll pass and say check again. Come at me, bro. Okay. You get yourself a key. I sure do. One to one. Space race. Here we go. <laughs> John says, I had to get the dark amber to get go with my holiday amber set. My girlfriend always hogs the black amber. LOL. That's funny. Well, let's go. Um, 
I really want to get max use out of these cards. You ever feel that way? All the time. I'm glad. <laughs> Thanks, Mini B. But I'm not certain that this is the right time. I'm not certain at all. Let's go Star Alliance. We're going to reap with the, the uh, Chief to give you plus two to your next key. Mm -hmm. Reap with the Chief. We're going to fight Skirmish with the Lyco Alien. Oh, yeah, I played an event, so he should have a ward on him. Thank you. Fight with the Lyco Alien with Skirmish onto the Mutant Cut Purse. He gone. Take nothing in return. Trigger the fight ability. Look at the top three. Put one in my hand and uh, one on the bottom of my deck. Oof. Good card. Oof. Good card. Oh, they're both good. It's all so good. And See, then, what, what are you going to do? I'm looking at the top three. One in hand, one on the bottom of the deck. And then I assume the other one uh, goes back on top. Okay. How do we want to structure this? Oof. Okay. I am going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Very questionable decisions for me that turn. Thank you. Thanks for catching that, Kevin. I was like, what does he mean access denied in my discard pile? And then, okay. <laughs> what? And I started looking. And then we'll go ahead and reap there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to play Blast Shielding to go plus two armor here. Mm. And reap. This is for you. Get one more amber for that thing. Look at that. You're keeping up. Hey, man, I'm just establishing a board. Yeah. I, I felt like I, early on I was like, oh, <laughs> man, I'm, this deck's crazy. And then you were just like, ah, slowly but surely, staying in the game. And then we'll play the Umbra Alien. Get Same out of ability here. as the Lyco Alien. This one has Skirmish. This one has Elusive. Huh. Fight. Look at the top three. So I can draw two every turn that you let the Star Alliance party happen. Not my kind of party. Now, so... And I'll let you know a little, little secret. Hot tip. A little hot tip here. So the, what, what could have happened is I could have sent her in on the fight and then killed her and then had a double guard on the, my aliens, which is cool. But I wanted the reap ability well, so that I your keys like cost plus two. I don't exactly have a super threatening board out right now. You don't? So it's not, the, you got have elusive. So like I can't even fight with two creatures right now. The other, and the other thing that I'm looking at is, so I looked at the top three and I'll just show you. Okay. So we'll, we can actually undress some key force. So I had Observe You Max, which is attached to a creature. It reaps and captures one. So I could have put that here, and I immediately get an amber, and then reap with that thing and capture one, which is good, right? I chose the Umber Alien instead, because what I'm trying to set up is, this is my, I think Zach can clear the board next turn card. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cash in now. This is my, I don't think he can clear the board next turn, so I'm going to set up something that's really awful if you can't. Yep, I mean, that seems good. And then I put another card in hand. If you do clear the board, I have a five-card hand with the next faction. So Seems pretty good. Just walking, walking us through it here. I'll give you my brain. All right, you ready? It's not the best brain. But it is a brain. But it is a brain. I'm going to play Crewman Jorg. She's awesome. Jorge? She gets to do a damage, so I'll do a damage to Garcia. Oh, uh, it's actually Jorg. Uh, yeah. I, I got it. Jorg. Hey, you're doing my hard work for me. Now I'm taunted. Yep. Action. <laughs> she has an action. If she has no Star Alliance neighbors, I get to steal one. Buyer beware. Okay. Buyer beware. But Thank I you. can't do it right now. It's yep. just That's the thing that could happen in a few years. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and go Commander Chan. When he has to play, I get to do a damage because he's enhanced. So we'll do one to the elusive cat. Mm-hmm. It's an alien, not a cat. And then I'm going to play Amber Tracker. T it play, deal two damage to each enemy creature with Amber on it. This damage can't be prevented by armor. You don't have any, so that's fine. Uh, and then I will play a Universal Translator here on the Amber Tracker. And this is this creature gains fight, reap, use a friendly non-Star Alliance creature. So then they both basically have this ability. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what my turn and looks check, like of course. here. Yeah, of course. As you do. As you do. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. You said it, man. Hot diggity dog. You said it. Indeed. Well, you know, I... I, I think I, you take it while you got it, right? Put it... Put it in the tea. It's a, I mean, knowing when to go for it is the, the qu big question. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. That's what my grandpa always said. He'd sing it, though. That uh, Mama's Only Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. Mm -hmm. The best, best song. It's the best country song ever. Right heard. up there with, and we were swinging. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's one that I can get, get down on. But in terms of po cowboy poetry, I mean. <laughs> I love that category of art. Little brown puppies, children, and girls of the night. Isn't that insane? Cowboys love little brown puppies, children, and girls of the night. What a lyric. OK, what are we doing here? Um, it, and I can't take this. This would remove any damage I would take, right? Like so, it's a the next time you take damage, you, you get rid of the That's a good way to say that. What up, Jeremiah? I just got here. Any big cards yet? No, we don't have any bigs, but I did get another Sens deck, which apparently is not common. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I'm going to take Star Alliance. I'm going to start cashing in on this thing. Uh, well, hold on. Let me make sure I can keep you from winning. That seems important. Maybe it's not time. Dang it. I don't. You took my little plus two thing away. That was smart. <laughs> I see why you did big that. Big brain time. Big brain time. <laughs> Working on that, yeah. All right. That's so funny. Ah, oh, you took away Garcia. Garcia's so good. I have a, like a... One of my decks from the last set has like three or four copies of Garcia in it. So it's just like... Goodness. Insanity. All right, I'm going to go Shadows. All right. Let's start with uh, Vandalize. What's it do? Gain an Amber. Look at the top three of your deck. You discard me one. The amber. Discard one. Put them back in anywhere. Give me the top three of your deck, if mm. you would, please. I'm a filtering machine. Don't don't touch my sins. These are my sins. Little and children and girls of the night. It's in your head now. You're, you're gone. Old faded Levi's and... Men that don't know him don't like him, and men that do sometimes don't know how to take him. Wrap your mind around that one. <laughs> My brain. Here we go. Discard your Observo Max. Oh, no. And uh, That art, for some reason, on Observo Max makes me think of Toy Story. Like, it looks like it's a little toy car. It like does. A... It's very fitting. All right. Then let's... Uh, Let's play a booby trap. Gain me one. Four to something not on a flank, two to its neighbors. Hmm. Um, that one. All right. We're doing it. This guy doesn't matter, right? Yeah, those things don't matter. Oh, you can steal one with, with her. Not that I could do anything about it anyway, so what have you. Um... Fight Reap, use a friendly non-star. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, it's like Reap, then I get Reap of this, then I get Reap of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Not me. Well, let's play old Bruno here. Oh, no. Let's He's capture so three. good. You take it. my pretty ones. Thank yep. you. Mm -hmm. um, I will play Mug and do nothing with it. I can, there's no amber. I gotta move one from a creature, but I will gain one. Put you in a check. I assume I can do that, right? Did we agree to that? Why wouldn't you move one from Bruno to your pool? Oh, he is a creature. But you have to do da two damage to the creature. You do that. That's way, fine. That's that fine. seems really good. That's fine. Yeah, great, great, great. My whole turn was planned out before he was around. And then Nexus. He's an enemy artifact. Everything ready. All right, so you just took the, the tempo there. You're in check. Now I've got to do something about it. Okay. Oh my, how cool is that? Cause loss, that's true? Oh, they're separate sentences. Move one from a creature to your pool, deal two damage to that creature? No, I don't think you can do that. No, deal two damage to that creature, that being the important. 
identifier. Are we all agreed on that? You can deal the two damage even if you don't move. It says literally move one amber from a creature to your pool. Deal two damage to that creature. Everybody's saying yes. Okay, so you could choose not to move the amber from Bruno. You really can do that? So you choose this creature, why remove do, an amber, and do why it Why do you. games make this so hard? Yeah, I mean, you choose who you want. Uh, I really want to kill this thing. I don't like the idea of you moving, using another a star, non-star alliance thing. You got it. I think it's good. You divide the goalposts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. All right, mine. You can deal with it, so you can move zero. Uh, I don't know how that can possibly work like that. Yes, go ahead. All right, let's play uh, Hadron Collision. I get to do a damage when it comes in. So I'll do a damage oh, to... Oh, this is not here. Yeah, I'll do a damage to... doesn't much matter. One to Bruno. And then I can remove a ward token from a creature. Oh, man. Secure a droid. But I'm playing an action, so I don't know if you can get it right back. It's but, before the play effect happens, okay. I get it. Yeah. Then I deal three damage to that creature. Armor applies, right? Yep. Okay. Then I will take an action here to steal one. Then I'm going to play a little card called the Quintrino Flux. Play, choose a friendly creature. We'll choose here. Uh, destroy, or and an enemy creature. So we'll choose this one. Uh, destroy the chosen creatures, and each creature with the same power is either of those creatures. So all fours and all threes? Yep. That's the whole board, man. It's clear. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take these back. Thank you very much. I was just keeping them safe. Keeping them warm for me. And then I'll put down a Teleporter Chief Tink. Elusive action. I can swap Chief Tink with another friendly creature in the battle line. I can use that creature. Uh, if do you have to resolve that damage icon? Mm. Against yourself? You probably don't. I think you do it before it enters play. Right? Right? What's up, yeah. Greece? Technically, Apostolos. it's a two, Apostolos. so I could have played it before I blew everything up. Um, so we'll just assume that happens so that I did another damage to something else of yours. But I, I think you maybe would have to resolve it. You need, a, you need to ping a damage. So would you have to, would Tink have to take the one damage here if the board's empty? I'll play fair. How about we do it? I, I gotta learn. Lone Star Belt buckles and old Check. faded Levi's. Did you, t you took one for me? Yeah, you have to resolve it, okay. Why did you take this from me? I had uh, Yeah, George's ability, whatever, no, steal, it was, stole? Yeah, Jord. Okay. No Star Alliance neighbors, so I stole one. <laughs> You're like, why? That was my key. That's how I gained my tempo. Why, why? Now you got a real, real uh, Fandango. It's fine. Did you hear the release of the Mulan movie? Yes, I did. $30. Some people think it's too much. I think it's a steal. <laughs> you just got to have a party of like, I don't know, four people to make it cheaper than a movie. Yeah. But be careful. Corona, you gotta, you gotta isolation, be You got to be careful. Et cetera. But that's kind of encouraging. Like, you know, if you had like 15 people over, that's like $2 a person to go see Mulan. That's like, that's like $2 a person. I, uh, there's a couple movies that I was really hoping to see that were going to come out this year that I would love to see them put out that way. Oh my gosh. Check out this play. Yeah, something weird is going on with YouTube apparently. Cabell says, just joined on YouTube, tried three times, the stream keeps cutting Hey, just out. head over to Twitch, twitch.tv uh, backslash Team Covenant. It's going to be better quality over there anyway. Um, I don't know. I, something tells me that probably like Google servers and stuff are just weird today. They're probably doing non-evil things as we speak, I'm sure. Yeah, don't do evil. That's their... Mm -hmm. You know if you have to say it. Yeah, we all know. It reminds me of one time... So we used to, in the old store, we'd close at 10. And at 10 o'clock is when Kilkenny's, a local Irish pub, had a burger deal for $5. It was a burger fry what and a half deal. pint of beer. It was incredible. And it's a, awesome. It's one of my favorite places to go in Tulsa. I miss it dearly. But uh, we Second were outside after. You'll pre I think you may have been there. We we're outside after, and Matt uh, is like, he, he remember when we found out you could he he found out you could get them in those like giant pints of yeah. beers. Yeah. Imperial so we get outside and I'm like, dude, are you are you okay to drive? And he's like, look. And then he, there's like a line and he's like walking on it. And as he's doing that, a cop pulls up, <laughs> rolls the window down. He's like, gentlemen, if you have to prove it, you're, <laughs> you're not, not ready okay to drive. To drive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll never never forget that. That's so awesome. Hey, look at the look at this big brain term I'm about to have. 
Uh, playing Anguish here, A-N-G-W-I-S-H. Uh, for each damage on Anguish, your opponent's keys cost plus one. An Anguish. And uh, I get to capture one off the off the play, mm -hmm. courtesy of the capture icon. I'm oh, gonna. No, you're gonna damage yourself. Yes, I'm gonna hose myself here, but I think it's okay. In Mark Keyforge, you'll find it's like in, when someone gets too close to scoring in football. You do whatever you need to do to get them to stay out of the end zone. Yeah, keep them out of the end zone. Doesn't matter. Break They'll a leg, a whatever. Goal. Anyways, go ahead. Okay, so then we play Mark of Disc. This is gonna get me an Amber. So you're now in check. Deal two to a creature. So I'll deal two here. Mm, I see, I see. It's controller. I have to choose this as my active house next turn. Okay. So don't let me forget that. I definitely will. It's on you. Uh, Bone Saw is coming in. Is he ready, though? And then Obsidian Forge is coming in. Going to gain me an Amber right off the bat. And I have an action. Destroy any number of friendly creatures. I can forge a key at plus six Amber current cost, reduced by one for each creature destroyed this way. Wait. This is an artifact. Yes. Look at that. So I can destroy a bunch of creatures. So normally I forge a key. I would forge a key at 12. Oh, but for yeah. each creature I, I destroy, it's minus one. Yeah, yeah, so if you destroy eight creatures, it's a four-cost key, etc. Cards we can forge off sequence like that can win games. All right. So next turn, if I could play out a bunch of disc creatures and then trigger this, I could potentially yeah, win the game. That's a lot of times how you finish it on uh, key number three, right? Yeah. All right, you ready? Four. Yeah. Let's play the game. First thing I'm gonna do is play Mind Fire. I get to capture one, I'm gonna go dis. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. I steal one for each bonus icon discarded this way. There's two really good pulls here. You're not gonna get them. My grubby, my grubs. There's that one that's got like four on it at some point. Zero. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna play in Furnace, yeah, perch oh, up to two classic. cards from yeah, a discard pile. Your opponent loses amber equal the number of amber bonus icons on those cards. Don't mind me. I'm just going to see if there's any twos. I don't think there are. Did you read... Uh, oh, you need a forge, too. Did you read... Oh, no, you no, don't I get don't. to. Yeah, because it's uh, your keys cost eight right now because of my big pro play. Pro play. Do, 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 I think only, you can probably, what, get rid of two? I have two bonus ambers for sure. No problem, Tim. Yeah, all right, we'll get rid of two. They those, just go away, right? Those are purged, yep, they gone. And then we'll play my friend Greed. Mm. During your turn, uh, draw, draw card step, refill your hand, for one additional card for each sin for the sin creature in play. Isn't that crazy how good that could be? Then I'll play another Snudge. Uh, fight, reap, return, artifact, or flank creature to center's hand. So this, like this one? This deck is fire, by the way. Yeah, you're playing nothing but disc, so it's like got like 20 disc things. In I it, stacked it, it like. yeah. But like, the disc, disc cards, there's two Snudges, there's three Sins, there's an Infernus at least, if not two. Ooh, I've never seen that Sin. All right, we're doing disc because we have to. Oh, I need an extra card. Wow. No, you took it out of my hand. Wow. Let's play Stirring Grave. Gonna gain an amber the hard way. It has a damage, it's going here, as you might expect. Give me that amber back, please. Archive a creature from my discard pile. Oh, I get to draw an extra card, actually. So, who do I want? Mm -hmm. Back in. I'm gonna archive old Bruno. He's the worst. I gotta find a way to discard that. What's my option? Should have purged Bruno. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. All cool, right, cool, 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 cool. Bone Saw is going to kill uh, Greed. You can't do that. Really? I'm just kidding. Bone Saw is just here to, to wreck. He's, he's here to party. He's literally yeah. just here to attack things. Uh, Anguish is going to reap. And then we'll play another Bone Saw, who will also be ready. And Truly. So at my best right now, I could forge a key for 12, 11, 10, 9, and I'm at 7. Yeah, you'd so. probably just naturally forge a key before you did any of that So you've business. got a shot. Not kind of a shot. shot. One. i got to get rid of that. Uh, three. And now archive I pick up at the start of my turn, right, if I want to? If you want to. Mm -hmm. All right. Mine? Did you draw your seventh card from Greed? I did. You did. No, I didn't. I only have six. I didn't discard any from you, did I? I don't think so. Woo! 
Mm. Well, at least this is going out with style in this set, let me tell you. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go with this. We're going to reap with Snudge. I'm going to bounce that to your hand, yep. I will reap with Infernus. Then I'll play this beautiful number, Gateway to Disc, destroy each creature. Uh, but I gain three chains. This one comes back to you. Not gonna miss my shot. Yeah, it's a good time to gain chains. I'll tell you that. Chain, chain, chain. Uh, then I'll play Stirring Grave. Gain one archive of friendly creature. Let's get that greed right back. And then let's play Wrath. Three armor, three health, Yoosh. taunt, poison, skirmish, fight for each friendly sin creature and rage an enemy creature. He makes you angry. And then I'll play a Drekker next to him because he's got that armor. So that should be helpful. And then I'll pass and say check uh, by a mile. I'll lose a chain because I'm only going to draw two cards. And then I shuffle my deck. Gross. All right, I get a key. I do like this deck. You're still on key number one? Yep. What a fool. Uh, Jeremiah, the name of my deck is Sri, S-R-I. Is that how you say that? Sri? Sri. Is it Sri? Sri. 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 Sri, K, Sri. period. So S-R-I space, K, period, Aeroscap. E-R-O-S-C-A-P. So, uh, friends at home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this works. Oh my gosh, I got the perfect card for you. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Star Alliance, here we come. Yep. Starting with a Hadron Collision. Remove Ward, deal three damage, can't be prevented by armor. I can just do three of that Wrath, right? Is, is because that's the same sentence <laughs> we're in that scenario? Can he do it? I can remove a ward. It doesn't say if I remove a ward, deal three damage. But the other to one it. was move an amber, period, deal three damage to that creature. Remove a ward from a creature and deal three damage to it. Can I remove a ward that isn't there? I don't know. Why are games so hard all the yes, time? Yes, you can. Okay. He gone. Bye, Wrath. Wow, that we was. We had a just, good thing going. He dude, just dumped on this it. This is the anti sin. Uh... Um, how weird is this? So upgrades, what up, upgrades I would have to play. Oh, hold on, let me do it differently. Better. Upgrade that wrath with this to gain an amber. Upgrade that wrath with this again to gain an amber. Can you upgrade? Yeah, you can upgrade my guys. Then kill it with the Hadron Collision. You got it. And then play a transporter platform artifact. I love the transporter platform. Return you have so many upgrades too. That deck is so good, Steven. To their owner's hand. All right, mine. Don't forget your chains. All right, I'm painfully not forgetting them. Not gonna miss my shot. shot. All right. So look at look how close this game is, dude. These decks are fire. Ion gave me the big brain play right there. Nailed it. We need an icon that pops up when that happens. <laughs> a picture of you like that with a glowing background, you know, where you're like, a big idea. Hmm. So we got ourselves a little space race going on it's, here, don't we? It's good, man. Can't say I hate it. Mm-hmm. About to blow your mind though. We're gonna do those five cards. Were the chains worth it in retrospect? Do you love them? I do love them. <laughs> Let me see if I want to get this card or not. That's your archive? Yeah. It's old greedy pants. How's everybody doing out there also? What is it, Wednesday? How's Wednesday treating everybody? Halfway through the week, it's almost done with the work day for today, so it's the it's the other side of the hill. Not to say, or unless you enjoy your work. Uh, my work is miserable, <laughs> as you might expect, but... Life is suffering. <laughs> yeah. 
Got him. <laughs> Old Sid Hartha Bun over here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you got that Bruno waiting for me, so I'm going to go Shadows. We're going to play a Sacro, Do not. Sacro Thief, two armor and elusive. Get out of town. Uh, then I'll play a Mutant Cut Purse, and I'll upgrade him with an Opportunist. He gains elusive. When I play him, I capture one from you. And then I'll pass over to you. It's annoying. Can't. Minus one more chain. Come at me, bro. Coming at you. Ann says, I'm going to be picking up my Jaws of the Lion pre-order today, just waiting to get through work. What's the Jaws of the Lion pre-order? That sounds awesome. Mini Beast is the only thing keeping me sane. Well... <laughs> It's a scary reality because we're kind of going insane ourselves. 20 weeks in. At some point this week, we're crossing the 500-hour isolation stream mark. I'm, I'm bringing Bruno in. I got t-shirts made and everything. Do I bring Bruno in here? Not yet, man. You save him. No, you save him. He's your clutch. That's right. Take three. But Unless I also I play that card that says play a card from your opponent's archives. I need also... I need... I need... To mm. put you in check. It's a new Gloomhaven style. Got it. Is that worth checking out? No. It seems crazy. Gigant I remember Grant watch, walking by Grant dealing with Gloomhaven. He's one of our guys on, on the team. And it's just like, this box is ludicrous. It was a cr just insanity. Okay. Okay. Uh... Creature captures one from its opponent. How? Oh, okay. When I play it. Okay, yeah, right, right. I was like, how do you upgrade that before you play it? Oh, man. Things are weird. Um, let's start with This a... is Keyforge at its best, by the it's way. Great. Just... I'm telling you, these sets are, this set is incredible. It's yeah, the most yeah. fun that I've had playing Keyforge ever. Put it on the box. <laughs> Quote you. Look over there. Deal two there. If it didn't destroy the creature, steal one. That's not fun. Look over there. Yeah. <laughs> then let's play Bow Nut Nithing. Bow Nithing. So good. Steal one for each forge key your opponent has. That's two to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Master Mindy, elusive. At the end of my turn, put a scheme counter on. I can take an action and remove each scheme counter to steal one for each counter that was removed. And I'll pass it over. Check mate. One token on. Let's do a let's do a fancy token. We got tokens in different area codes over here. Can he do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will fit the this dream amber. How will fit the? We've released these, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. They look awesome. Well, let's do this. I'm going to go with Star Alliance. Ooh, devastating. I will oh, I need to play a Quintrino Flux. I'll destroy here and here, and then each creature with those strengths gets destroyed. All of them. Yeah, but not my force is the idea. All of mine. Uh, let's give Blast Shield in here. Gets plus two armor. Let's play, discard these two and pass. Oh, I win. You win. Woo, 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 woo. And no way to stop you. Kevin Stewart asking, if we drink our way through all the beer? Um, some of it has, has turned. <laughs> we weren't able to get it done, no. Uh, it's not perennially good. It, 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 but it's no longer drinkable. Uh, Max Hill, any thoughts on the new vampire game from Renegade? Not sure in what way. I was looking at it last night, actually. It's a little bit different than the one that we played, obviously. Um, it's got like 13 schemes. It's cool that you reveal like a scheme and then you got to fight it every turn. It's interesting. I also, I, I barely looked at it, but from what I saw, I liked basically your rival is not just the player to your left yeah. when you're playing multiplayer, but it's randomly assigned each game, which is cool. It, it adds the flavor of like, you're not quite sure who's your friend and your ally for real. It seems like it'll be great. Um, we, I mean, we probably won't do anything with it on the subscription side just because people that, like when you're going through Kickstarter like that, it's a complete nightmare for all other parts of the retail chain, uh, including us. So, 
Uh, we won't do anything officially with it, I don't think, but I'm curious but about we'll, it. I'd like to get a demo we'll, of it. We'll look at it. Play it on stream, potentially, if we hey, get a shot is, on it. This is, a, I'm just looking through this deck at this point. So sometimes you know how you open a Keyforge deck and then you're playing and every hand that you have has answers to whatever the problems are? Those are good That's decks. exactly how this deck felt. I yeah. felt like I was fully capable of solving every problem. Well, that's good. I feel like this deck has a lot of fun stuff that I like in it. So it had the um, Heist Knight with a bunch of thieves. There's even a thief in Star Alliance, the, uh, one of the characters. The, I think Crewman Jorg is a thief. Nice. Um, and then it's got the three sins and the double snudge, and it has a gateway to disc to clear. I have multiple board clears. There you had a that, ton of board clears. There's that one where I kill one of mine and one of yours, and then everything else that matches it. Um, so I, I'm curious to, I, I will definitely be playing this again. Um, you had a lot more amber control. I felt like I was generating more amber, but you kept just taking it. It was incredible what, what this was able to do. That I, one character never, at the end that was steel two, because I had two keys. I've never felt more in control than yeah. I did with this deck. And you also, you had a, uh, what was the thing that you had that was notable? The destroy to forge a key off that, sequence. Yeah, yeah, so you also yeah. had the off sequence key, key destruction. So did you, did you have any board clears in there? A couple of like kill an enemy creature, kill a friendly creature, and but a couple of, of damage like, things everything. from shadows, but not kill everything. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay. So that might be the one thing that it's missing, which is it would be a problem. Something. I had a lot of upgrades, so I could see a board would get way, really out of control if my opponent had a big like board deck, and yeah. then I would lose. But you also had that transpon the bounce card. Yeah. So let me see that real quick. That's that's one of the most craziest combos that you'll see. Is like you pull off a really good heist there too. Three I three like thief heist is yeah. solid. Super strong. So, upgrade. I just want to see. I could do this with Keyforge for the rest of my life. Just open a deck and play it like that. I mean, it's so fun. Yeah. That's why, like, Keyforge Sealed is just so good. You just show up and you get a new deck. You're off to the races. Yeah, this is, this is the craziest thing. So, the deck has six Star Alliance upgrades, mm -hmm. um, four of which generate amber. They sure do. And the, the transporter platform. So this lets you return a friendly creature and each upgrade attached to it. So literally, ah, yeah, you, you have a moment where it's all, like, yeah. you could play two or three of these, bounce them all, play them again. That's pretty amazing. Um, so That's really amazing. That's something that actually. I'm always looking out for. You could also so, bounce that secure door and then play it again as an attachment if you needed to. Good decks, good decks, good decks. Good decks. Here we go. Let me get the scanner out. All right, here. Mm. Put, put her under. Got it. Thanks. All right, next up on deck, we have Wind Plot of the Rogue's Mountain. Scott, we have not gotten a Gigantic yet. How fun is this? I got my first big. You got a Gigantic? We got Mass. Got a big. And it's a good one. one Ooh, of, it's got Untamed in it's it. It's the Kong. <gasps> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, AC, and there's, ne there's Lotus Tokens. I don't even have lo Lotus Tokens yet. I might have them in my Netrunner collection, actually. Lotus? Those, those Lotus Tokens school. were a revolution for that Netrunner subscription. I've never seen such an incredible uh, response. Yeah, let's see this thing, man. What do we got? You the name? Just play it? Uh, yeah. Let me tell you the name, though, after I scan it. Do you get a score? Or does it tell you, like, what it... I think you have to have both cards to put it into play, but there's also a card called It's Coming. Mm. Which lets you go get a different piece. That makes sense. Um, so the name is Megaton the Previously Monochrome. Very cool. <laughs> Very fitting. Uh, Blake asking on YouTube, what's up, guys? Hey, Blake, good to see you. I've seen you in the chat a bunch. Oh, yeah, last look at week. this. How cool is this? You ready? Looks like a normal card. It ain't. Ooh, yeah. The old Untamed yes. Kong. So I'll just, let's pull up Niffle Kong. If that's possible. Uh, so 12 health, 2 armor. Play only with the other half, so you have to have both pieces. At the same time, basically. Yep. From when you play it, you search your deck and discard pile for any number of Niffle creatures, reveal them, put them into my hand, shuffle my deck. He calls all the Niffles yeah, to he him. he does. He has Fight Reap. You may destroy a friendly Niffle creature. If you do, deal 3 damage to a creature, steal 1, and destroy an enemy artifact. Oh my gosh, how many Niffles are in there? Let's take a look. It's and then, uh, uh, coming back to you, Blake, do you feel that over the last few sets, FOG has managed to make the most decks feel consistently fun to play, or are there still some duds? Okay, so I can't speak. Age of Ascension was weird to me. I, I didn't really, it didn't really do much for me. Um, 
Worlds Collide was better, I thought. Uh, but it had some notably like weak spots. Whatever they're doing in Mass Mutation is revelatory uh, for me, for Keyforge. I think every deck I've played has been interesting, functioned well, done some cool things, didn't feel like I was losing uh, in stupid ways. And I think they've nailed it on this algorithmically. Well, I think, I think the, the houses are getting better, the quality of the cards, like they're more consistent. They've identified like what the problems are. It happens in every game, but now you have this kind of mass effect where they've had playtesting, they've had it live, they're getting to choose the best cards from the houses to bring forward. Um, so, really good. Uh, do you think it would be possible to have Android Netrunner UCG, so uh, unique card game with generated corporate under decks like Keyforge? 100%. Absolutely. I think it's absolutely possible. I think you basically set an algorithm that says make sure you have two of every type of breaker of a random, so like two barrier yep. breakers, but you don't really, they're all a little bit different. Um, you have like 10 to 15 money generating cards, and then the rest is just flavor and fun. And I think you could step into a world where you don't have an identity card, or you have a randomly generated identity, which would be cool, like your Archon. So you get this random hacker that has a, maybe, I don't know how randomly generated you could do on the like personas, but if you had like randomly generated human characteristic sure. looking things uh, that had like a link value and an opening hand and that kind of stuff, um, it would be sick. I mean, it would be not? totally sick. Would I like to open a random corp deck and just try to outsmart a runner that I know nothing about with a deck that I know nothing about? It sounds phenomenal to it me. It does sound great. Uh, deck building in that game was super fun, so like, there's also an element of that. They're losing that is kind of a bummer. Um, but one set? Like, would I, would I put out one set of that game and see how it does? Obviously, that's a lot of investment. But you already got the algorithm. You probably just plug in different variables. You probably already got the art. You got the art, yeah. So you got to get the game rights. That's that would be thing. super fun. All right. Uh, blank or six to go first? How about even Steven? Did you? One is not even. Technically, nothing. Uh, there's something on that token, okay? So I get six. Mm hmm. You know, most the least popular color in the world is yellow. I'm not a fan of yellow, so. Uh, so the world revolves in your taste. Huh? I'm just saying that I'm one person. Oh, nice. I like this a lot. I'll keep my hand. Mm, I don't like that. You got your uh, identity? Yeah. Megaton, the, the previously monochrome. What was your name? Windplot of the Rogue's Mountain. It's pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. OK. Um, OK, I'll, I'll keep this. I, am always, I always get worried about what could go wrong if I pitch. So, tells you a lot about me. Ready? Ready. Let's play Scout Pete. Play, fight, reap, look at the top card of my deck, I can discard it. Do it. Dare you. Yeah, we'll discard it. All right, go ahead. Hold on, somebody said that the pride of your... Uh, yep, Shadow Run would work, Tim, for sure. See Falcon predicts that you're going to get crushed this game. ACM, what are the pride of your tokens at? Is it the the uh, Mumbad tokens? Lotus? All right, just one thing. Huh? Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard that. Okay, so that, that's not terribly excitingly weird. Okay. One thing. I don't know why. It, it doesn't, doesn't even matter, matter how hard hmm. I try. Karaoke time? So if I implosion and it says destroy a friendly creature and an enemy creature, if I don't have any friendly creatures, I can still just destroy it. Do as much as you can. The keyforge roll. I forgot about it until now. One thing. All right, let's go Logos. Um, Fission Bloom. I can take an action with the artifact. The next time I play a card, resolve its bonus icons twice. Wow. And then Eclectic Inquiry, archive the top two cards of my deck when I play it. We've been getting strangely similar decks this this stream here. What's here? 
<laughs> you see that? This here Bixby. <laughs> Bixby. We were looking at moving to Bixby, and I was like, I don't know. I feel tempted to say this here so This much. here? This here Bixby. This here? Uh, okay. Then I'll draw to you. Here, here we go. All right, let's go Logos. We'll play Eclectic Inquiry. Looks familiar, because it is. We'll archive two cards. Um... Yeah, the Star Wars one is a no-brainer to me on the unique deck front. Yeah, just print it, man. I mean, having not seen the numbers, that's the thing. Is like, I think we'd all be surprised at if the actual Keyforge nuts and bolts. If can do it, Star Wars can do it. I don't know. It's kind of a toxic brain these days. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Top of deck, not from hand. We did something wrong. Top of deck, not oh, from hand. Oh, Eclectic archives the top two cards from your deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, much better, right? Yeah. That would be, ins yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting to do it the other way, too. Uh, and then I will discard here. Blake, I do agree. If they did, like, an Arkham or even a Marvel Champion-style co-op LCG with Star Wars, it would kill. Absolutely kill. <clears throat> One thing I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. I had a genius idea the other day, but I'm not going to tell you about it. Genius! It's too good. Implosion. Destroy that thing. Nope. You can't? Oh, okay. Got him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Numero uno. Waking Nightmare. Enhance. Gain one for it. Uh, and then uh, keys cost plus one for each disc creature. It's not going to matter. All right. There's gain in Just bucks. one of the bucks. Then we'll play Anguish, and we'll play Brabble. Anguish is plus one for each damage. Brabble destroyed on your turn, I gain three. Or you lose three. Kind of different. Destroyed on your turn, I lose one. If it's destroyed on my turn, you, I lose three. That's right. So if I do the hard work, then it's not as good. Okay. I don't know why. Let's see if this matters. Nope. All right, let's go with Untamed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Gloriana's Attendant. Doesn't do anything. Niffle Ape, still not doing anything. Oh, no. Here comes the Bucks. Capture Icon on Bravo, thank ya. I saw it and I forgot it. Uh, I'm going to play Mutation of Instinct. Something against Skirmish and Mutant. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then... I want to play it. Sure. Let's play Earthbind on Anguish. I gain one, capture one, and then this creature cannot be used unless you've discarded a card this turn. Discarded is different from played, yeah? Yeah. One thing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So I can't use it unless I've discarded a card. Shansha, it's on the list. I don't know if you answered him or not. No, I don't think so. Lord of the Rings LCG. Okay. Um, you ready to get conged? Yep. Hmm. I don't know. How weird is this? All right, all right, all right. Cool, all cool, right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to go with Logos. Logos. I'm going to take an action. Mm -hmm. Next time I play a card, resolve each of its bonus icons twice. Mm. I'm going to resolve Daughter's draw card twice. So I'm going to draw two. That's gross. Daughter with a draw card enhancement is gross. Yes. Uh, then we're doing the Discombobulator. Yeah, Kevin, we're playing Ashes tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. This creature gains my Amber Can't Be Stolen. Mm. Gain one. Could have gained two if I'd have chosen that option instead, but I did not. I was hoping to pull some more Logo stuff. And stand and deliver. All right, let's put my archives in my hands. Shantia got into Marvel watching us. 
That's great. Yeah, Kevin, we're playing Ashes. Did you say that already? I feel like yep. you just did. Yeah, tomorrow on Throwback. All right, I'm going to go with Star Alliance. You ready for this? Mm hmm. Let's go Subdue. I gain two. And then play, deal damage to a creature and stun it. Did you draw an extra from Daughter? I did not. Thank you. We'll deal damage to Daughter and stun it. <laughs> Speaking of. I got you. Uh, then I'll play. You stun him too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Commander Chan, Commander Chan. And then I will pass. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's wild. Oh man, look at that card though. Discard one of them. Okay, I get it. I get what I'm trying to do here. Okay, I'm gonna take the old Star Alliance. Okay. Let's start with uh, a Quixel Stone. Mm hmm. What's it do? If you have more creatures in play than your opponent, you cannot play creatures. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Lots of amend that. Play the Matter Maker. I can play upgrades as if they were in the active house. Don't worry about that. Crazy combination of rares you got there. Yeah, it is. Um. <laughs> Kevin saying, I got into just about everything watching these guys. I'd be a lot richer if I hadn't found Team Covenant. Baby, I was happy, money, I Richer but not in spirit. Survey getting played here. Uh, gain one amber and uh, look at the top two cards of my deck and discard one of them. Mm, taking a quick survey. Wally. That's what that reminds <laughs> me of. Mm. Have you seen Wally? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. I've heard it's very, very good. Eevee. I don't watch movies that are good, though. Yeah. Okay. It's true. Watch that latest Toy Story. It'll get you. I don't like crying. <laughs> Jeremiah agreed. Team Covenant owns my wallet. Aw. Well, we appreciate it. That's very nice. Explode Rover. Mm hmm. Skirmish. And then it can be played as an upgrade instead of a creature, which I probably should do. Uh, but I'm not going to do it because I need Oh, yeah, I do need to do that. So let's give something skirmish. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's this thing. Yeah, so we'll play Teleporter. Teleporter Chief Tink. We'll give him Skirmish. Yep. And then we'll play Xeno Training. Gain one. For each friendly creature, different houses, I gain one, or capture one. So one house, two house, three house. Three house, four house, mill house. One, two, three. Going on... He must go. Brabble, of course. Would you... Would you lose three and then get these after being destroyed? Or would you get these three and then lose them for the effect? You choose the order if you're the active player or something weird like that. I have no idea. How does that work, chat? Brabble. So if it, a creature's destroyed, the captured amber, does it go onto the thing and then the tri the ability triggers or ability triggers first? And then the, I, I bet the ability would trigger first. But I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Jack says... Uh, first is destroyed, then creature goes to discard. Yeah, okay. Destroyed triggers before Amber is returned. All right. So not quite as good. Until the start of your next turn. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got. One, two, three. Absolutely hilarious turn coming up. Hmm. Um, let me do this over there, then. I'll just go ahead and put these on, uh, I guess I'll, oh, put these on Anguish, of course. Of course. Yeah. All right. 
Let's do the math. All right, hold on. I saw a... Why is this making noise? The stream is brought to you by Nalgene. The stream is brought to you by Nalgene. Sometimes their water bottles make noise. Okay. Jacob Bean saying, uh, been listening to the How Games Fail series. Do you think keyboards could be in danger of keyword and mechanic bloat? Possibly too many keywords to learn for new players to just buy a deck and play. It's a concern. I think the enhance icons are done well because they literally tell you right there on the page what to do. Um, the, the icons pretty much give you an idea. The capture one's a little weird. I would have done capture with an arrow uh, instead of a... Uh, this I would interpret as lose in amber. Your opponent loses in amber as opposed to capture. Um, or like a hand grabbing it or something. Um, the keywords, as long as they keep the parentheses in play, I, I've not had any trouble with the keywords keeping up. It's a little weird that they used all that space to say enhance such and such. I think that's the most confusing thing for new players. Yeah. It's like, well, what does that mean? And it's like, you don't. It doesn't matter. You don't have to reference yeah. it. So I would have just had the little icon in the bottom right corner or something. Yeah. Told you that it had enhanced another card. Yeah. It deck. says in the paragraph though, the right or the parentheses at least. Yeah, but like, wouldn't you think if you just open this up? Oh, enhance yeah. plus card. So I need to do something now. Right? I'm with you. All right, let's do this. Picture this. All right. I am feeling too good. Just wrecking Zach right now. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Niffle Ape will swing here. He ignores Taunt and Elusive. He does? Yeah, he's a Niffle Ape. Mm. <laughs> he do? It's uh, important. Then... Does he die as well? Yeah. Takes two. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't need to die. But I hold on, I might back that up. You want him to die because you want to play him to stuff. Die. <laughs> He'll swing for three over into anguish. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Uh, then uh, Gloriana, his attendant, will swing for one into anguish. You get this back. Thanks. I don't want you to play things. I'm going to play a Dark Harbinger. Dude, check out this literal mutant witch. Dark Harbinger. After I play an untamed action card, I ready her. Wow. So then I'm going to play one of those witches, yeah. Mutation of Instinct. Uh, until the start of my next turn, a creature gains skirmish in the mutant trait. I'll give her skirmish and she readies. Nice. Very nice. Very and she'll nice. swing for four there. Yeah. I'll take those three back. Thank you, you very it. much. Then I'll play It's Coming. Put that back in your discard. Mm -hmm. uh, it gains me an amber. I get a ready the witch. Search my deck and discard pile for either half of a gigantic creature. Put it in my hand. I'll get this one. I only have set, I only have six cards. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Blake. Oh, I should have an extra one because of daughter. Speaking of keywords, the one thing in FAB that's been confusing: most of the keywords describe an effect, but I think reprise and crush describe a condition, and the effects vary. Yeah, so they 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 are a condition. Yeah, because reprise only basically it's going to trigger if the defending uh, card thing happens. So that's interesting. All right, and then for my next trick, I will use my dark harbinger to reap, and I'll pass the turn to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's the play? What's the play here? Well, I'm going to forge. That Quixel Stone is crazy towns. <laughs> It Just messes. Wanted, it right? messes with your brain so much. You could technically still play a creature. Oh, really? Does that matter? Do you want to play yeah, the, the yeah, big dino? Yeah, I do. Because you have to have more to not I be got, able to yeah, play. Got, We've dealt yeah. with this before. Yeah. Okay, so I'll play Niffle Kong. <laughs> uh, play only the other half of Niffle Kong. When I play him, I can search my deck and discard pile for any f number of Niffles. 
Oh what? man, without Quixel Stone, that gets so good. It's like Nephilite, Nephilite. <laughs> oh so I, I won't even do that. Uh, but <laughs> fight and reap, I can destroy a friendly Nephil. I'll go get. What a bummer. We we got to do this without this stupid Quixel Stone. It's okay. Uh, I'll just replace the two cards in my hand that were Nephilite with this Nephilite. All right, go ahead. Okay. And you're not playing them. But you're I can't. Still, you're I can't still play them. Jackman's saying it's not a may. You have to do it. Yeah. So you. But it says any number. So you, this any, says you may just. Oh. Yeah. Well, for any number, you any can pick number, zero. You, any number. Zero is any number. All right. Go ahead. It's funny how many answers there are to all that. <laughs> Kevin says, we were having so much fun until you played that Quixel Stone. Mm -hmm. Look at this this boy, though. Boy. 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 Well. I can't get rid of the Quixel Stone with my Kong effect if I can trigger it. That's right. Got to get a picture of this for later. Can I see your discard power for no reason? <laughs> Sweet. Son of a. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right, let's go dis. Picture this. Picture this. Here's some right, fun stuff that's ridiculous. Uh, playing Shadow Dis, all your creatures are blank until the end of the next turn. Except for traits. Isn't that fun? Then we'll do Lord in. <laughs> Lord Invidious, my rare. The devil himself. Elusive. Uh, Why is it the center? Reap, take control of an enemy flank creature. So. Gotta get that ape moving. Yeah. And I can play one more to amplify. And we'll do Infernus. Purge up to two cards from a discard pile, and you lose no, he's them. blank, right? No, enemy creatures. Hmm. Uh, so let's go subdue for minus two, and then. Um, How am I supposed to win when you never move the back row? <laughs> and then uh, why not purge? I'm not going to purge. It's coming because uh, that's just too much fun. Those two are out of the game. Thanks. So remove three. You lose three there? Yeah, I lost three. Just very for cool. you. Very cool. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's go. Brabble is going to swing at... Uh, Commander Chan. Got it. Going to die. You get this one back, but you also lose one because Brabble's gone. And I then, see, I see. And uh, we're going to play Snoret to put Invidious in the middle. Oh, I need to do one here, too, from Infernus. Uh, we'll do one more there. It's fine. What's uh, Invidious doing when he's in the middle? I can reap to take control of one of your flank creatures and exhaust it, and then while it's under my control, it's considered house this. Well, he's got to go away. Take control of that there, eight. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. All right. Mine? That's right. All right, let's go with um, Untamed. This is such a good deck. Oh my gosh. I'm going to send Dark Harbinger at uh, Invidious. He's elusive, so I take damage, you don't. All right, at the end of my turn, I capture one. Yeah. Then I will play. Niffleape, Niffleape, and then I'll swing with Kong into Invidious. Bummer. You got me. So I'll take three. And it's your turn. Hear me roar. Roar! Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What? Oh, apparently elusive prevents damage both ways, so I'll play one Nephilim. Mm, right on, yeah, it cancels the attack. Right. Mm. Okay, I should have seven cards, that's right. Good deck. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't disappoint me because I own it. Okay, hold on. Let, let's see how this is gonna go here. 
All right, it's ape time. Let's go with Logos. Auto encoder. After a card is discarded from my hand, archive the top card of my deck. Daughter's going to get rid of the stun. Then, uh... <laughs> okay. Then we're going to do... Let's just do it. We're going to do a... Oh, there's a damage pip here. Oh, yeah. Pip on. I should have technically done one to daughter. You can do that. Clear it out. More, that gives uh, you more creature space. Though. More creatures for me. Let's do it, man. Bouncing Death Quark. Here we go. I'm going to start with a Niffle Kong. He gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then an enemy creature. Um, and Furnace. And keep repeating it. I'm not going to. ACN. Oh man, this deck is nuts. No, you didn't. We, you didn't use the Kong fight effect, right? Nope. No, it was all blank. At least it's only the enemy creatures that get blanked, Jackman. So then we'll do enhance here. Next time I'll resolve it twice. We'll do sloppy lab work. So that'll grab me two amber because it's doubled. Archive a card. To this one. And then it says discard a card from my hand. So I'll discard this guy. And this triggers after a card is discarded from my hand, I'll archive the top card of my deck. And then I'll play Eclectic Inquiry, gain an amber, archive the top two cards of my deck. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> this is fine. And then uh, everything already. You're in check, brother. And then I'll see what I archived. Wow. And I'll draw up back up to six. Okay, okay. Let's go with Star Alliance. I'm gonna attach it and explore rover to the Dark Harbinger. I'm gonna play. Blake asking, how do you feel about Keyforge and having so much extraneous information on the board? Um, the good thing is, yeah, so they solve it with board wipes. It, well, you have board wipes and you only go one house at a turn. That's true. That's so, true. There's some decks that have a lot, a lot of things that are uh, static effects, but very few cards are actually static. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm looking at the board, and it's like you only have so many things that can even trigger. And there's only one thing that impacts you here, yeah. also, which helps. Most of your stuff is impacting you on your turn, so it's kind of yours to remember or not. I'm going to repo Chan. Let's me use another friendly creature. I'm going to repo the Nephilim. I'm going to repo Chan. Let's me use another friendly creature. Mm. I'm going to repo the Harbinger. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And then. I'll pass to you, and I'll discard. Oh my gosh. Her. Key number two. Yeah, you're ahead, but I, I have an interesting setup. Interesting is right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> okay. What up, Taylor? Okay, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's see what the archive has for us. We want to pick that up. Well, you're way ahead, so... Yeah. Okay. 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 I will go ahead and pick this up. So let's see what we can do with that. we got to put together a turn here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ben, I, I have a giant in this deck. I got to put it into play. Didn't do anything, but it was there. Then it got wiped. Um, okay. I may have... I think I missed Snared on that last turn. You did, did but I? I have seven. Okay. Which was the, the goal. 
So we're going to take a Star Alliance turn. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we're going to do with it. OK. OK. Oh, man, it's so close to being good. Oh, my gosh, it's so close to being good. Dang, look at this. It's so funny. So you resolve the icons first, then you resolve the playability. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that's true. I don't need you to tell me that. I know that's true. <laughs> All right. Um, let's start with subject Kirby. Two draw icons. Mm -hmm. And when you play, you can play a non Star Alliance creature this turn. So I'll resolve those two draws. <laughs> <laughs> a double card draw uh, Kirby is insane. Mm -hmm. What's nuts is like I have a I have another card that says when you draw when you resolve in an, a double. draw, you archive a card. You could have doubled that card draw, by the way. No, it's it's in the other. It's in logos. Oh, yep. Yeah, but you could see what I was trying to do is play Kronos with his ability. After you resolve that bonus icon, you archive a card. So you draw twice, archive twice. It's like, mm. that's pretty good. OK, so we are in Star Alliance currently. Um, let's play a dark minion. It's going to deal one to each enemy creature. So we'll get rid of a Chan and then do one to everything. Here you go. OK. Let's swing in here with Skirmish on the Niffle Ape for two. OK. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got to make sure. OK. That would max me out on creatures. That's good. Then we'll do, actually, let's do this first. You'll like it. Observe you max, gain one, then give it fight, reap, capture one. So I'll fight with it and capture one. Courtesy O. Then we'll do Hadron Collision, three damage there. Okay. Can't be prevented. Seems good. Yeah. Then we'll play a Secure a Droid to give Snaret Taunt. We'll play a Stealthster, draw a card. We can play it as an upgrade to give Snaret Elusive. And uh, then I think we'll be done. Is that all? Is that all? All right, let's go with uh, Logos. Oh, my bad. That is, this is a destroy effect. So. Oh, boy. Let's just just put your. Um, every, everything can resolve as normal. Just put him in the discard and Niffleape with uh, full health. That still works. So I'll swing here and do two. He had three on him rather than uh, the rest. And no one damages. This, so this guy wouldn't go, so Niffleape goes from the uh, Hadron Collision to do three. OK, and so those then guys, I'm here. Those guys are standard, yeah. Tits. Mm. OK. This is the play. And then this guy has three, right? No, does not. Killed does one. You had two out? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then we good. I, I had the one that already had damage on it. Yeah. I'll swing at that one with the chief. All right, let's go with Logos. End your turn, capture one. We'll go uh, Positron Bolt. I do three to a flank creature, two to its neighbor, one to that. So do three, two, one. Three. Thank you much. Mm -hmm. Skirmish doesn't matter. Capture doesn't matter. OK. Two. Mm -hmm. Getting there. Poor Snaret. Elusive doesn't matter, et cetera. One. To okay. all curbs. Doing it again? Okay. Nope. Uh, I'm going to play Group Think Tank. Mm, cool. It has an action deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one neighbor. 
Nothing yet. Play a daughter. And then I will pass. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, okay, dis. Coming up. Okay, this is going to do. AC and Sand, for those in chat who put stock in SAS, uh, Steven's deck is an 80. Does that mean it's got the juice? My highest is an 81. I mean, yeah, it's. it's 80 is like very high. It's remarkable how good this is. Um, oh, yeah, seven with Daughter. How about that? Daughter's got to go. All right, we're going to this. First, we'll take an action to move each thing from Snoret to the common supply. Okay. Clear that out. Mindfire, discard a random card, steal one for each bonus icon. This one. Zero. Do it again. This one. 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 Ding. You're making my life hard. Turn into any creature to your hand. Discard a random card from your hand. Uh, isn't it ridiculous? Uh, let's return daughter to your hand. It is ridiculous. <laughs> it's an 80 for sure. <laughs> oh, dark minion going to reap for one. Over to you. I assume that's happening. It's all good, man. It's all so good. I've been pulling nothing but nothing but the dads here. Um, does your uh, this thing have elusive? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't though. Does not. Okay. Let's go, Star Alliance. It's finally time. I'm going to play Crewman uh, Jorg. Mm -hmm. It has a card draw enhancement. Um, if Crewman Jorg has no Star Alliance neighbors, they can take an action to steal one. Hmm. Yes, si se puede. Um, I'm going to play a Detention Coil here, and it deals. I get an Amber and deal damage to it. Okay. So it goes away immediately. Then I'm going to. Uh, reap with Commander Chan. When I do, I get to use a, another friendly creature. So I'll take this action, deal four damage to each creature that shares at least one house with its neighbor. Ooh! One damage to everything, courtesy of the Dark Minion. One goes back to you. That's armor. Whatever it takes to get rid of that. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Uh, then I'll pass and <laughs> say check. Okay. He gets one over there, group thing. His armor. Ah, the armor. Wow, he's got a ton of armor. He's a tank. <clears throat> mm-hmm. The art on Infomorph is sick. Okay. Bobby Hill's got the Dillo. Bobby Hill's got the Dillo. Yeah, that's 100% true. Okay, well, let's do uh, let's do uh, logos here. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Uh, enhance this mutagenic serum, so it's going to give me a bonus. Destroy it. Use friendly mutant creatures this turn. Everything that you just destroyed is a mutant in this deck. Mm. So at any point, I can use pretty much my entire dis pool, which is insane. That's awesome. It's nuts. I can come in there. Uh, then we'll do Kronos, which is also a mutant. I'll have you know. <laughs> then we'll do uh, Qmex is going to draw a card. When it's destroyed, I'll archive a card. We'll do Daughter. Daughter. Draw a card from the icon. Trigger Kronos. Resolve one. I can archive one. Then we'll do Bot Bookton. Reap, play the top card of your deck. And that'll be it. 
mine. Mm -hmm. I have just the, this is so phenomenal, the setup that I have. So first, let's forge a key. You've been, you've been owed a phenomenal setup. I'm, I'm curious if you can wiggle out. So what I'll do is I'll go with Star Alliance. Actually, mm -hmm. first, yeah, we'll go Star Alliance. Technically, I could play a creature, but I can't. I'm going to reap with Chan. It lets me use another friendly creature. So I'll take this action and do four damage to everything that shares a neighbor with it. Or a house with a neighbor. Ooh, that's four damage to everything? The whole board. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So they, I guess I should have cared about that, but yeah, at the same time, destroyed, archive it. And then these guys go. And it's your stuff too, right? Yeah, you but don't I, have I don't have any. So I, I, I cool. positioned in very, that, very that cool manner. That. Uh, yeah. Then I'll take this action with Crewman Jorg. Uh, if she doesn't share, if she doesn't have any Star Alliance neighbors, I get to steal one. And then I will discard this card. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Jackman says, think tank time, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Okay, let's go dis. Dis what? Pack this up. Let's start with Invidious, mm -hmm. Lord Invidious. Uh, then we'll go Anguish. Uh, then we'll go Brabble. Capture one on two. Let's do Invidious here. Then we'll do Waking Nightmare. Gain one Amber. Keys cost plus one for each disc creature, so in case you get weird. Mm-hmm. The Shadow of Dis will blank everything and gain one amber. Oh no. This is a problem. And we're back. Alright, mine. Cause it's got to be. Blank each creature, he says. Alright. Let's do this. I'm gonna go with Logos. Group Think Tank is gonna swing for four damage into Invidious. Okay. I'll take one. Elusive. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Forget that noise. Uh, mm. Put this out here so we remember. The heat on this deck is unbelievable. It seems good. It's just problematic. Uh, yeah, Lobin, awesome. Uh, Crazy hype for tomorrow's stream. Loved Ashes. Hope you show off the core game first when it was actually about spell slinging and not bird fighting. Man, that bird game we did commentary on from Gen Con was the most miserable commentary experience of my life. Except for the time when we... Uh, there, was, there was a couple of X-Wing games that were just... The worst. Boring. Oh my gosh, that game got super boring. All right, let's go... I'm still going to go Logos. And I agree, Lava. Yeah, it, core Ashes is where it's at. I'm gonna swing for four here. So I'll, four there, I'll yeah. take three. Uh, then I'm gonna play uh, Effervescent Principle. Each player loses half their amber rounding down, gain a chain. So I'll lose one. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good exchange there. Opposition research, enemy creatures cannot reap during the next turn. Okay. Um, Don't say. And then I will discard these two. No, Jackman. The bird game was uh, it was ashes. It, it there was a there was a bunch of uh, there was a bunch of bird stuff. You could cast these owls, these snowy owls, and they discarded cards from hand, and it would turn the game pretty miserable. I don't know what you guys are talking about, Kevin, ACN. What an interesting idea. All right, uh, my turn. Yep. Okay, so I can't reap with any enemy creatures. Any creatures, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, hey, it's Logos. Welcome. It's Logos, I think. Yes. Okay, Logos says enhance. And we'll enhance the ye old discombobulator. We're going to give it to uh, here. It's going to give me two amber because it was enhanced with the fission. That's so good. And uh, you can't steal my stuff. 
Can't steal my amber as long as Brabble's in play here. We'll do a little uh, eclectic inquiry. Gain an amber for that. Dark eye the top two on my deck. It's a problem. We'll do another one of those. Archive the top two on my deck. You gain so much amber. It's crazy. I mean, all I just got to do is play cards. Uh, then we'll do Qmex, draw a card. Shuffle these boys up. I don't know, man. It's I don't like, know, man. It's like a little league baseball uh, player walking <laughs> onto a major league field. You know what I mean? <laughs> you like fastballs, kid? I can't even get the ball to home plate from the mound. That's just crazy in here. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then that's it. Okay. We'll draw. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass the game. Let's <laughs> go to the next weird. one. Dude, you just you just go in with four. That's a crazy deck. That deck is insane. You can tell. Uh, I thought my deck was good. I think your deck is great. Yeah. We're bummer about that big Kong. I mean, Quixelstone ruins everything. It does. Looking at you, Brad. Ban Quixelstone. But it is cool that the the dinosaur had a way to deal with it. So that's worth worth noting, I suppose. On to the next love. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Ooh, the, this is a cool name and a very cool logo. It's called the First of Southgate. Kevin, you, are you getting gaslighted? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the the term of the era for sure. Ooh, a Proclamation three four six E Legacy. This is this is gonna be a good deck. Thanks, Maso Maso Christ. There, we did a good job on commentary hiding if we were when we're bored. Well, you know, that's, I mean, that's, that's why everybody's smashing the like button on this channel. Luckily, uh, with those X-Men games that we did, as long as they weren't live, uh, then they were edited down, so they weren't as, as painful as they yeah, otherwise could that's absolutely been. true. You want to scan this bad boy? I think this yep. is going to be fun. You can start to tell, right? Isn't it cool when you get to that? Was, you got our jobs count of the Ruby Harbor. Our jobs. Our jobs, taking comma. Our jobs. They took our jobs. <laughs> it's a good episode of South Park if you've never seen it. Look at this logo. It's very like Air Forcey. I love it. That is nice. Good logo. We got Saurians in the mix, both of us. Yeah. Thing. I'm telling you, we're getting like leg for leg, like decks with like similar cards and houses in it. They're just giving me the better ones, which I like. I that first round. Who won the first game? I did. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember it. I'm also just... I got beat so hard I just that decided, game. you know, here's the... Here, you want to know the real secret? When I don't have the opportunity to, to build a bad deck... You can't lose. I'm a lot better. <laughs> I can't lose, that's right. Also, if you pull a SAS 80 deck, you're probably doing okay. Yeah, I don't Literally, mind that. <laughs> until... La so I got an 81 last time, but outside that, I had never even come close to an 80 pull. Well, good. So, like, SAS to me is like a... It's I a, got some SAS for you. It's a... It's a measuring stick. You just have to understand what it's measuring. And, like, it's going to struggle to account for synergy. Synergy. But it's getting pretty good about at least giving you a framework to decide, like, expected power level. It seems to really like cards that have amber when they're played. Yes. I like that, too, as it turns out. This is honestly one of my favorite Archon designs on the back of this. Hope it's good. All the stars and stuff. It's really cool. Stars and stripes. Forever. And Zach just erasing all memories of losing. That's really the key to staying sane in a competitive environment, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't ever lose. I just learned. <laughs> That's right. You just made me better, idiot. <laughs> mm. How will you ever keep up if you keep beating me and teaching me how to win? <laughs> Eight years later. Even Stevens. Here we go. Oh, Snake Eyes, that's two. I don't know if that's Otter even. <laughs> I'm going first. <laughs> what? Welcome to Keyforge, home of the Keyforge. <laughs> what? Dude, I got enhanced. And, dude, check this out. You ready? This is actually crazy. I have an enhanced 
legacy card that is fantastic. So it's a card from a previous set. Cool. And also it's enhanced. OK, so I'm looking at Monument to Shrix. Yep, nice. Have you seen that? Nice. So if it's in your discard pile, I can just get rid of one of your amber for the rest of life? I, I don't know what it does, but I know that Shrix is a character, and that's a... Um, Read that. You can spend amber on Mu Monument to Shrix as if it were in your pool. Action, move one amber from your pool to Shrix. If Citizen Shrix is in your discard pile, move an amber from any player's pool. Oh, so not you have to get this Shrix card. In, yeah. Citizen Shrix. OK. You've got to read the words on the card. RTFC. RT. Read the fantastic card. I'm ha I finally got a good legacy. I'm so happy about that. My legacy. Okay. I'm going to keep my hand because it's fantastic. Okay. Wow. Cool. Dude, I'm really happy with these decks. I got all three cards that say Gizzleheart. Like, they're all different. That's cool. And they work together pretty nicely. I, I don't know you. what that means, but I'm excited to see it. This I will tell you. All right, I'm going to start out by playing the old Monument to Shrix. All right. A nice one drop. Yeah. Nice one drop. Stream brought to you by a squeaky Nalgene water bottle. You, you hear that? I do. Uh, let's what go with Star Alliance. I'm going to play Subject Kirby. You know him, you love him. And he's going to let me play an Ardent Hero. Ardent Hero has Taunt. Ardent Hero cannot be dealt damage by mutant creatures or creatures with power 5 or higher. I remember that dumb card. Cool. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to play Subdue to gain an Amber. Deal a damage to a creature and stun it. Do you have to do that? Yep. I want the Amber. Uh, I'm also going to play Access Denied. He can't reap. Wow, so he's just up there being he's awful. Just a meat shield. And then we'll discard this card. Okay. What? Well, this is something. Oh, I see your gizzle heart. <laughs> No, I said raise you a gizzle heart. I'll raise you a gizzle heart. Oh my goodness. So we're going to get crazy in here. <laughs> See Falcon's says. <laughs> Return of the ardent idiot. <laughs> he can't reap and he's stunned. I'm here for the party, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's quite so good. funny. Mm. Uh, Kevin says, this box you opened is insane. Two Sendex, a Nifflekong, 80 Sass <laughs> deck, and an Enhanced Legacy. <laughs> he says, ACN says, you better pick up a lottery ticket on the way home. I'm already winning big. You guys are all here <laughs> hanging out with us, having a good time. That's right. Really, though, We've already won. This is just crazy that we get to do this. I love it. All right, Sanctum. Fangs of Gizzleheart. Purge the most powerful creature. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Where's the party at, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Just get snaked. Don't step on snake. Uh, Gizzleheart Zella Ender's played ready and enraged. He's going to attack that subject Kirby and take him out. Axe him. Then we'll do Mad Prophet Gizzleheart. While it's in the center, I can take an action, heal each non mutant creature, and gain one for each creature healed this way. We got the same deck? No, I don't have Mad whatever. No, you don't. He's my rare. But I do have Gizzleheart's Gizzle Wrath, whatever that is. Did you purge that thing? Did you yeah. purge the Argent idiot? Oh, no. He's Argent purged. gets purged? He's purged, dude. No, he got attacked. No, he's a, he's the Ardent idiot. He got Fangs of Gizzleheart. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> he gone. Bye, Felicia. All right, that's it. All right, all right. <clears throat> All right, let's go uh, Sanctum. Here's my legacy that I am in love with. So it's Proclamation 346E. Mm -hmm. While your opponent does not control creatures from three different houses, your keys cost plus two. Mm -hmm. It also has a capture icon on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do that. Let me play a creature first. I'm going to play <laughs> Gizzleheart Zealot. Oh, he can just play ready, ready with Enraged. He's got to attack something. And then he'll capture one. Um, he's going to kill himself somehow. 
Choose yep. your favorite. <laughs> I'm going to play Burning Glare. Gains me an Amber, and I can stun a creature. If you stun your Zealot, you don't have to enrage yourself to death. I'm going to stun Mad Prophet Gizzleheart. What you do? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to play... Radiant Truth, I stun each creature not on a flank. They're all on the flank. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to discard a card. All right, go ahead. He's got to attack, right? If if he takes an action, he does. You don't have to take an action to he attack. You can just though. hang out. I will, though. We'll he take can it. hang out and rage forever? That can't be true. Yeah. He must attack. No, it's when you do something No. it has to be an attack. That's not how enrage can work. Check me on the chat. Oh, you can just sit there, says Jackman. Jackman knows all the rules, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. Really? He'll, he'll still swing. Well, Let's just take him out. Get this back. He's gone. So, since when does it make sense that if I'm enraged, I can just sit there? That's not what enraged means. Well, as long as you're not doing anything. <laughs> I would change that rule in a moment. Oh. I see what is happening now. You, you ever remember how you're just so angry that you just sit around? I've been there for years. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's a little too close to home here. Oh so my Monument to Lord. Tricks is basically saying, I can protect Amber, and you can't steal it unless you can get rid of artifacts, in which case it's real bad for me. Passive aggressive indeed, that's right. ACN says, you guys have wives, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Console Prime is coming in. Mm -hmm. I love those those Roman dinosaurs, I'll go ahead man. And move one here. Keep it safe. Hopefully, you can't destroy that thing. And then Citizen Sh Shrix will come in. Uh oh. Play Reap. Uh, exalt. Steal one. Hmm. If he goes to the discard pile, Monument gets too good. <laughs> I'm painfully aware of this Be reality. Careful. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Zoom. Enhance. Oh my, I've got a big one coming up. Oh, keep profit center, yes, that's correct. Thank you. Gotta read the cards. Mm. Yeah, so also, you guys have been teaching me a lot about Keyforge rules. Fully heal each non mutant creature, gain one for each creature healed this way. Now, a reading of the rules would say healing for zero is still healing, right? No. Just like doing zero damage is doing damage, yeah? No? I don't think okay. so. All right. Never works like I want it to. Correct. Um, I need to purge that guy. Which one? Yeah, you do. That guy. This one. I'm going to run him into anything that has three attack on mm -hmm. my next turn mm -hmm. if you give me the chance. Um... <laughs> Hmm. Let's go. Larry King, he looks like an owl. Yeah, that's so good. I can't allow that. Let's. I think I got the heat again. I'm going to be honest. Let's go, uh, dinosaurs. Sarians. First thing I'm going to do is play Library of Polyosaurus. It has mm -hmm. a card draw enhancement, which is awesome. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Ooh, that library is good. It's so good. With the enhancement, it's crazy. Perfect as Ludo. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each amber from this creature to the common supply. Also great. Yeah. you got a lot of amber protection with your dinos. Uh, then I'll play Chant of Hubris. I can move an amber from one creature to another. Mm, I don't want to do it. You don't want to do any of it. <laughs> I'll do it anyway, because I'm not going to try to kill him. I'll do that for me. <laughs> uh, then I'll play Sagittarius Gaze, gain amber. Uh, mm -hmm. Exalt a damaged creature. There are no damaged creatures, so that doesn't happen. Wow. Killer turn there, bun. And then I'll pass. Okay. So I've got some choices. I can.
do nothing with my cards and just play the board. I could reap with Shrix, steal one. Hmm. Move one amber from any player's pool to monument. Wow. Can you get rid of this artifact? Just be honest with me. I you. don't know. I haven't seen my deck. If you can't, I'm going to keep loading it up. You don't, should. Don't you see? OK. From one creature to another creature. Interesting. Oh, sure. Let's go dinos. Let's go dinos. Yep, it's dino time. All right, let's attack into your Ludo. Yep. Take three. You, you, no, you don't die. Dying. I do, though. Uh, use this. Put one here and take one from you, because Citizen Tricks is in my discard pile. It's instead. Oh, instead. So that is better, kind of, but it's not as good. I got to purge Shrix is the real trick. That is the trick, yeah. Uh, let's reap here, gain one, move this over to here, because, you know, he's harder to kill than that thing. And I'll pass it over to you. Just doing the hard work here. What now? What now? Let's go dinosaurs. Uh, sorry, and please. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, so salt. Has, it's alpha. Play until, until the start of my next turn. Creatures can't reap. So I won't be able to reap. Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it can be your enemy creatures. That's cool. Okay. Um, that's not worth playing. Good turn here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've seemed to have ground to a halt. We were throwing out all the hits early. Let's just reap. And then I will pass. And <laughs> <start that. laughs> Okay, so what you're saying is All right. Um I'll go shut us. Okay? Let's get some stuff going here. Start with a miasma bomb. Uh, it says action destroy it. Your opponent skips the forge a key step during their next turn. That's so I could good. potentially do that. It's kind of like miasma. Uh-huh. Mm. Technically, I reap before I play the card that means we can't reap. Oh, I can't do it because it's alpha. Oh. So I won't even, unless it gave me an amber. Yeah, okay, it's fine. I can't reap. So you're one it's less. It's way worse. Okay, that's way worse. Play Vandalize, gain an amber, uh, discard the top three. I tell you, the top three of your deck, discard one there. <laughs> Put the others back in any order. Hmm. Ooh, I don't like that. Let's get rid of that card. Ooh, that card is good. Commandeer. And it gives you an amber, and it captures an amber when you play it. That is a yeah. serious control card. Okay. Then we got to keep this in mind. So you're, you've got that stupid... Okay. Capture to... Yeah. We'll go there. Okay, Vandalize complete. Then we'll do the Asp here. Masis Asp. Masis Asp. Masis Asp. And then I'll return to enemy creatures to their owner's hands. Gain an amber. Ludos back in the game there. All right, mine? You are in check, technically, because I can spin two here and four there. Okay. And I have one of everything on the board. Four here. now. Let's go, Star Alliance. <laughs> I'm going to play Hadron Collision, remove a ward from a creature before. and deal three. We'll deal three there. And then now I, I can't forge. 
Then I'll play Survey. Ga survey says, game one. Play the top two cards in my deck. Discard one of them. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a nutso game. And then let's play Forging Alliance. It gains me one. I could technically forge a key at plus seven minus the number of houses in play. Nice. Including mine? Including yours, yeah. But we have the same houses, so it's not as effective as it otherwise um, wants to be. Then I will pass your turn. Man, why don't you do something already? Just playing that slow ball key forge. Uh huh. All right. So, what you're saying is, I'm gonna go dinos. Let's play a monument to Primus. Oh my goodness! You have double monuments. Double monuments. Move one from a friendly creature to another friendly creature. If it's in my discard pile, if this guy's in my discard pile, move one from a creature to another creature instead. That's so good. It's so good. And you do them in the perfect order. Perfect order. Monument. Don't mind if I do. Um, console Prime. It's going to reap. I don't have any creatures for you to attack into. I know. You got nothing. You got That's nothing. so funny. Uh, and then I can move one from a creature to another creature. I, I'm not even going to bother. I'll, I'll do it just so I can do it back. And then uh, Crystal Surge. Gain an amber, let's exalt each mutant creature. There's none. I just wanted the money. Over to me. Mine? I think that's right, yeah. I'm about to get real annoying. Was there any way, didn't I Didn't I have something that stopped you from forging? I had I, seven, so you took one. Unless you had a way to get me eight. I don't think I did. One more down. Touchdown. <laughs> let's go Dallas. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go with Sanctum. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun. Fun, so fun, so fun. Let's go Squire Alice, play Capture Two. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play uh, Gizzleheart's Wrath. Actually, no, you can just move it from here. It's just <laughs> bad. Uh, then I, I, let me actually back this up. <laughs> okay. Because you're at six, you can technically forge. I'm at technically nine here. And I'm at plus two, so I'm forging for eight because of your proclamation 346. Mm -hmm. Lame. Kevin Stewart saying, if you want to get better, I recommend watching Tabletop Royale. They go over stuff like this and explain their plays as they make them. Both are Vault Tour winners. Hey. What do you talk? What do you say? What about us, huh? <laughs> Zach and I have yep. read the listings for Vault Tours before. <laughs> what a way to p say that. We've played a lot of games. Uh, let's actually go dinosaurs. Tipped up Royale in the chat, given the muted smiley face. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. It's so weird. Your, your decks have been weird town. Tabletop Royale is looking at Zach's play saying, oh my gosh, how did this guy get here? And then looking at my deck saying, how did this guy keep getting these decks? <laughs> He's piloting them like a newborn, still winning. All right, let's, let's just go with Dinos. I will play... Saurians, please. One, Perfectus Ludo. I'll play an Axiom of Grisk. Ah! <laughs> I'll drop my hand. Uh, Can't even hold his so cards. <laughs> I'll ward him, and then I destroy each creature with no amber on it. So this will protect it. Hey, that's what I and had planned. Two chains. Yeah, it's fine. We'll play another Ludo, and then I'll pass the turn to you. Okay, so what does that do? Each other friendly creature destroyed. Maybe the, okay, so you're just protecting your, your stuff there. Enemy creatures can ring. You got any mutants over there? You're asking for a friend. Nope, not at all. Okay, well, we're doing this then. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just gotta make them pay to play the game. Pay to play. Here we go. And you didn't exalt anything, anything fun. Nope. All right, well, uh, well.
Why are we playing? Uh, why are there all these bad cards everywhere? This was supposed to be the good deck. Yeah, yeah well, hate to break it to you. Sanctum. Unstun. Number one unstunning. <laughs> Number one unstun. That's right. Uh, cleansing Wave to do a damage to uh, Ludo there. Heal a damage from everybody and... Uh, Oh, that would trigger. Cleansing Wave with a damage icon is amazing. Because then I heal the damage from that thing and gain one amber. Yep. Awesome. You, you deal the damage, you heal it, gain amber. Wow, a Cleansing Wave that does damage? Now that's cool. That's next love. Yeah. Ooh, what about that Tabletop Royale? Barrister Joya. We like that. How about that play? I don't like it. <laughs> Playing the cards that are given to me. Done. Barrister Joya, you can't reap. Okay. What we should do, tabletop royale. Here's what we should do. Let's do a battle royale format in in the honor of tabletop royale, where we put a team of four together. They put a team of four together. It's one versus one, and then you knock somebody out, and the new opponent comes in, and the last man standing is the winner. I know exactly. What I'm putting on our team. It's not us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do this. Chant of Hubris, gain a cr amber, move a amber from one creature to another creature. We're going to move it here. Then I'm going to use my library to move this here. Then I'm going to play a Galliotops. Mm -hmm. And then I have to deal with this. Come attack it. I'm not going to. Attack it twice. Uh, I'm going to attack the Prophet here. I'll take four. I'm only going to take two. I know. Then I'm going to attack you again. Mm-hmm. Do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> End of round. Yeah, Kevin, <laughs> the rivalry has started. It's not an actual rivalry. I hope. We're just having a good time. Not me. Not me. I'm genuinely upset. Okay. I did things for you. You did, yeah. The dinos do a lot to do not a lot, it seems. Working hard for the money. They are working hard, aren't they? Um, I love this art on the Gallia tops. I love the dinos. You gotta love those dinos. Okay, how about, how about this tasty number? <laughs> I'll do the dinos. I'll do the dinos here. Let's do another citizen Shrix. You have two Shrixes? Oh, Play. No. This Exalt. Is ridiculous. <laughs> Steal one. What's the name of the Where's other guy? They need a card. Uh, Primus. Okay. All right. Then we'll use the monument. Mine. Then we use Primus. You don't have any creatures? I'll just put that over there. One from any creature. But you can creature. put it on my creature. And then kill it? Well, then do this next turn. To move it from my creature to your pool. Or from here to there. Ah, but it, even if you no, move it to me... No, I can only move it from your pool to this. Yeah, even if you move it to me, it's way better for I you. I think that is better. Yeah, you're totally right. Now, I have a library, so I could actually move it right off. No, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was doing it. <laughs> Man, you're talking me out of my big level plays. <laughs> Come on. Combo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, cool. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go with... This is... Feels like a more civilized game of Keyforge. It definitely is more civilized. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Less high high flying, less top rope, less turnbuckle plays for sure. Hmm. Can he handle it? All right, I'm gonna go with the dinos again. Okay. Galia Tops is going to swing into Barrister. It only deals four. That's right. But I take five. So I take three. And then I'll swing here at it. Get dead. I gotsta. 
And then I won't even reap because <laughs> it's a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> the old dino brigade. Because <laughs> you just take it from me. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> That's a good suggestion, Tabletop Royale. We should clearly make part of this Battle Royale, or Battle Royal. Battle Royale, right? Royal Rumble is what I'm thinking of. Battle Royal, Royal Rumble. Uh, be WWE Raw Deal. You want to play some more Raw Deal? Take it to the winner's circle? Give me a few years. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, look at me go. It's uh, one of those wrestling matches where they go around the ring a lot and they, like, touch hands, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to engage. Okay. Oh, let's do shadows. Let's start by mugging that, uh, that dino guy. Gaining one. Got him. Let's give it a tempting offer to gain one, return that thing to your hand, and then right. you gain one. Oh, no. I'll, I'll be coming after that one later. <laughs> then we'll play Bo Nithing. Steal one for each forged key your opponent has. You're in check. Then we'll go Nexus. Not on in the check. You've got to get to eight. Oh, yeah. And then we'll go Vandalize. Now you're in check. Look at the top three and discard. Uh, can I touch your cards? You can touch them. Card one, put the others back in any order. Um, we'll give you mashed potatoes here. Hmm. I feel like your hand's full of Star Alliance, right? You Should never know. Or Sanctum. General Salvador's out of the game. I don't like What? <laughs> don't worry about it, man. No, he's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. Mine? Yours, yep. I gotta get out of this pinwheel. <laughs> <laughs> I want out. <laughs> Let's go. All these monuments. Sanctum. Keep worshiping. Squire Alice gonna capture two. Uh, Gizlehard's Wrath destroy each mutant creature. That one. Play Bring Low. It doesn't do anything, but it gains me one. Thanks. And then I will pass. Three Perfectus Ludo in here. Interesting. Could be good, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Literally built for this. ACN says, getting Barrister Joy off the board feels like getting your nose unplugged when you have a cold. Isn't that the truth, right? Okay, how about... We have any mutants? You got any mutants? Asking for a friend? Nope. Let's go Sanctum. Let's uh, drop in. <laughs> Let's go Sanctum. Let's go. Let's go uh, Secret Truth here. Let's get a Zealot coming in ready and hot. We're going to attack uh, the Squire Alice there. Give me those things. Two back, back at you. you. Thank you. Taking two. Okay. And then uh, we're going to play, because I'm just tired of seeing it in my hand, we're going to play a Purify. It's going to do nothing, but it's going to gain me an Amber. Check on. Passing over to you. All right. Let's go Star Alliance. I'm going to play a Security Droid and a Security Droid. And then I'm going to play <laughs> an Observe View Max uh, against... Fight, reap, capture one. Then I'll play a Hadron Collision. Yeah. And we'll deal favorite. three here. Oh, he's supposed to have an Amber on him. Do you want to kill him instead? I forgot that capture icon. I, I didn't have any. Maybe you didn't. That could be I think that's why you didn't do it. It could be very true. I, I didn't reap specifically because <laughs> I didn't want I, you to be able to steal it. But I wanted it. Uh, and then, go ahead. All right. So I got to burn one the hard way. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Okay. Secure a droid. Yeah, bring low with the three Ludos in the deck is really nice. So basically I have the capture all but five years. Mm -hmm. And then I have three of the characters that when they get destroyed, the amber goes to the common pool instead. So you can see where that would be frustrating. It's pretty nice. Okay. 
Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Ooh. I'm a... <clears throat> okay, well, um... Ah, uh, yeah, let's play, let's do a little, let's do a little, uh, hey, how are you here? Um, hello there. Let's go dinos. Mm -hmm. So, yay. let's start with, uh, suppose a battle. Friendly creature captures one. We'll do that there. Then each creature with amber on it captures one from its opponent. Same right? And I gain one for playing it. How do you capture the first one? It just says it. A friendly creature captures one. Each creature with amber on it captures one. That's so good. Yeah, it spoils the battle. That'd be really great in a lot of like the big dino parties, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, because there's nothing I can do. I couldn't move there. Move one until my pool size is going to matter. So Shrix is going to come in here. It goes to that thing, right? Thank yeah, you. that's right. Then Dino's going to move one to here. Just to be annoying. And then we're going to play Axiom of Gris, ward a creature, mm -hmm. destroy each creature with no amber on it. That seems good. So this ward get your chains. Removed. Take two chains, is that right? Mm hmm. My favorite rappers. Take two chains. Uh huh. And then uh, we'll play Dreadbone Decimus. I'm not going to exalt. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I'll exalt him, but if I do, you I have, have to destroy, destroy a something. creature That's with lower it. power. Yeah, you get bow nothing. I don't want that. Yeah, so I'm not going to exalt him. He's just there, ready for the ready for the action. All right, that's it. Let's go, dinos. Let's sow some salts. Creatures can't reap. Have we played anything except for dinos this whole game? Perfectus Ludo. I don't think so. I'm going to go Citizen Tricks. He can exalt, and I steal one, and then I'll use my library to move it immediately. And Gallia tops. And then I'll pass to you. Mm -hmm. Can't reap. I can't reap, he says. Mm hmm. All right. More dinos. Nailed it. Go dinos. Uh, OK. Wow, this is going to be nuts. Okay. All right, hold on. I got to think about this for a second. All right, we're going dinos. We're going to uh, move one from a creature to another creature. Let's go. Uh, no, wait, not yet, maybe. So, da 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 All right, dinos first. So let's get this out of the way. That's what we want to happen. Then we'll do uh, monument to move this here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do sp spoils of battle. Uh, gain one amber off the off the back here. Friendly creature captures one. No, it says each creature with amber on it captures one. First, a friendly creature captures oh, yeah. one. Then each creature with amber on it captures one. So I'll take one uh, here. <laughs> then we'll exalt a friendly and enemy creature with Curse of Vanity. Let's exalt this one and that one. He's exalted. I can only imagine. Uh, Then we'll fight here, five to three. You got it. Take three, gain three. And then I could exalt to destroy a creature with lower power, which I do not want to do. So we're going to leave it there. I got some work. You got some work to do. Ooh, I'm forging at six now. Game is afoot. Check in place. Take something out. All right, let's go. Amber goes to common pool. Where did that? Where did that happen? Oh, when this gets destroyed. So move each amber from a creature to the common supply when destroyed. 
Your whole plan is ruined. That's right, the Ludo's there. You gotta kill him first. Oh my gosh. Did I have a way to do that? I don't think I did. I don't right? think so. No. Um, that's a bummer. My whole plan destroyed each other from the. Okay, I get it. You got to read the whole the whole board here. Uh, whatever. We'll do it anyway. Just leave here? it here. Yeah. All right. This appears. It's not that bad. No, it's fine. All right. Let's go. Womp womp. Um. Uh, yeah, I see. Okay, what we should do, just do put three here. Put all three there. And then I just kill that thing instead of the, the Shrek's. Five to five. Yeah. And you get one back and I get those three. Deal. That works. Does it have its ability when it dies? It's each other creature. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so, but I can just exalt, uh, I can just exalt the Praetorius Ludo, right? Okay, let's go Sanctum. I'm gonna play Burning Glare. Is that right? Oh, because he already had one on him. Is that what started and the whole chain? And he captured chain? one, so then he should have two. You could technically let's have, just let's have just do it the way it was. Here. Just so, do it the, just do it the way it was. I'm gonna put three here, and you're losing those and three. And it's all gone. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna exalt that guy. All right, Burning Glare. I gain one, and then I will stun that guy. He's then, so cool. Then I'll play Radiant. Truth, stun each uh, enemy creature not on a flank. These guys? Yep. Then we'll play Gizelhard Zealot. He comes in enraged. He's going to go ahead and fight uh, Bone Niving. <laughs> Take two, gain one. Bone Uh Then I will pass. Okay. Okay, so what's next? What's next, fair, fair friends? Okay, let's, uh, well, you know, I feel like we kind of just keep the dino train going, don't we? Play them while you got them. Let's do uh, monuments or just... It's just nuts. Ludicrous. Um, now let's see what this would... GL2, the attack creature's neighbor is. See if this would matter. Okay. Oh, all my stuff's done, so that's kind of a thing. I locked it down. You sure did. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my, oh my. How good is that? Okay. Um, I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with uh, the uh, the holy guys. Sanctum. Okay. Seraphic armor. Gets me one amber. Okay. Fully heals this creature and gives him one armor. Then we'll do a smite. One damage there for the smite icon that I've got. And then ready and fight with a friendly creature. Stun goes away, yeah? Mm -hmm, How that mm -hmm, works there? Mm-hmm. And then you heard it here first. Smite again. Ready and fight with a friendly creature. Dreadbone, fight. Five takes four in return. Got Captures him. one on the smite when it's played. Um, don't want it to be too good everywhere. And then trigger the fight ability, exalt. Destroy a creature with lower power. That one. Two smites in hand is cool. And then unstun, unstun. Okay. 
Over to you. All right, let's go Sanctum. Let's play a Common Deer. For every card I play after this, I capture one. <laughs> it's good. We're gonna play General Salvador. Wait, it did has you get your amber and capture yeah. and all that. Yep. Yeah. It has a capture icon. I need to do two to a neighbor too. That guy technically has two on it for the okay. smite. And then I play the card, so we'll capture another one. Then I'll play Bring Low, gain one. Sweet shit. Capture one. And then why do you do this? <laughs> That's it. Your two, turn. Three, four, five, six. How did they get unstunned? Oh, they you had the stunned. card to let him fight on the off turn. Oh, no, that's right. So they wouldn't be unstunned. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was in that house, right? <clears throat> Oof. That's interesting. Okay. Fight. Three to one. So I would take that damage. Huh. Well, this is quite interesting. Um, take an action to capture. If your opponent has more, steal one when you reap. Steal one, discard the top two. Man, I want to go with dinos right now is what I want to do. Always. Always. All right, hey, let's go here. Let's go uh, Cleansing Wave with Sanctum. Heal one from each creature. One, two, three. Gain one for each creature healed this way. Seems good. Quit taking my stuff. Taking my Ikes. Uh, then we'll go here and here on the Reaps. I don't have a, a good Seeker of Truth play here, so I'm not going to make it. Mm. And I'll pass it to you. All right. Let's go Dinos. First thing I'll do is uh, the Gallia Tops will fight here. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing four and taking three. And then I had two on it, right? You did. Don't make those disappear. <laughs> we'll use the library to move one here. I'll put a Perfectus Ludo down. And then I will discard, unfortunately, two Axiom of Gris because it's not doing anything. And we'll say check. Okay. Going with Shadows. Shadow. Wah, wah, wah. We'll play uh, Gamgee here. Let's play a Ransack. Steal one. Let's grab the top card of your deck. Wait, I think I do mine. Let's grab the top card of my deck. <laughs> it was just for fun. <laughs> if it's a Shadows card, I get to repeat it. It is not. It's a Curse of Vanity. What up, John the Bard? Playing some Key Forge. Let's destroy this. You skip your Forge step. Mm -hmm. Let's play another one. Oh my god. Two of those You're in right. check. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> That's a monument to Shrix. Kevin. You can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Dog show. Let's go Sanctum. How about that? How about that? Let's go Gizzleheart's Wrath, destroy each mutant creature. Doesn't matter. We don't have any mutants, really, do we? Nope. Not among our. Uh, General Salvador will swing for four here. Okay. I die, you take five. Minus two for armor. Three. Then I'll play s Smite. I've seen Ready this and fight with a friendly creature. I'll ready and fight here. Okay. He'll swing here. So it does four, and then because of Smite, it does two to the mm -hmm. attacked creature's neighbors. And then old Dino takes four. How many, how many damage does he do back? Four damage back. Okay. My board. And then um, you can take one in amber. You're. Are you just gonna fancy fancy lose? I'm gonna fancy lose. <laughs> uh, classic key forge ending. <laughs> How'd you get to six? I thought you only had five there. I got to six. That's a problem. 
Yeah. Uh, then we may as anything, well. Anything uh, else you could have done? I don't think so. I gained one, and then I put one here. Very impressive, though. You, you collected a lot of amber. <laughs> yeah. I have enough to win the game in play. I just didn't ever... I mean, you st the miasma bomb, but you just kept that, those dumb monuments <laughs> in the best way, but also frustrating. It's oh, good. man, it's clean sweep today, boy. That's right. 3 0. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I need some of this luck when it matters. <laughs> when I'm building this house. Oh, my gosh. That's right. You deserved a little bit of luck. You, you came, <laughs> I you, didn't want it to go here. <laughs> you, you texted me today and you're like, help. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with things. And you I got have it. Too much to do. You got it here. That was good. I mean, I feel like the. The t coolest thing about Keyforge to me is the ability to basically handicap decks with the chain mechanic. Yeah. So like we played that enough. Uh, the second deck you had particularly was Insanity. Um, that match, I just felt like I couldn't do anything. Yep. Like, a, it, it was basically like, if you gain Amber, it works out better for you. And if you don't <laughs> gain Amber, it works out better for you. Obviously, yeah, at the end. Now, some of the, some of the other stuff, though, like at the end there, you were cranking. You were cranking really hard. I mean, that double Miasma Bomb is nuts. It's awesome. I can't. I mean, but it's like just holding those Shadows cards forever, waiting on the bond. It's just like, well, you need eventually it. he's going to yeah. get Amber. <laughs> yeah. And so then that get, that allowed it to until that ha because that bomb was on the table, you can just dinosaur around until you get to the. You moment. can just slow ball it, especially yeah. when you're up a key with two bombs in hand. Um, I think the other thing is like what you start realizing. I, I always like to play with decks when I'm playing them uh, at least three or four times. Because you start seeing how your deck actually wins. Like, what, what yeah. are the big plays? What it's are like the traps in that you're way, right? setting up for your opponent? So, like, in that deck, it's like knowing knowing that you have the bombs coming, right? It's like that lets you play a very different game. And then even the statues. Because there will be a lot of games where you don't see the statues early. Yeah. Um, I, I saw the statue and tricks in the opening hand, and then the statue and the other dino yeah, in the next but hand. One of yours, you had two of the dinosaur and one of the monument, mm -hmm. and then one of the dinosaur and one of the monument. So, you're going to get there. The real question is, like, can your opponent um, exile or banish, what is it called in this game? Purge. Purge. Yeah. Uh, the discarded creatures, or can they actually deal with your artifacts? And, like, I didn't have either of those answers in my deck. Yeah. So I just felt trapped the whole time. Yep. That does happen in Keyforge. Yeah. N the old Niffle Kong deck would have would have had a good shot at it, though. Yeah. Destroying those monuments, like, it wasn't even and funny. I, I don't distinctly remember you having any, like, big creature removal in your deck. None. Yeah. Absolutely none. But so literally, if our draws had flipped and you had played Niffle Kong against that deck mm -hmm. that I just had, I would have gotten devastated. Yeah, <laughs> and that happens. But the thing I was that was always appealing for me is like, the especially in tournaments, tracking the deck's wins and applying chains as they go. Yeah. And it's like, it, it it's the, the universal balancing factor. It's super cool. It is nice. All right, guys. Well, hey, that was Keyford Match Mutation. I think this is the best set for sure. Um, Tabletop Royale, you're saying there's, there is more blowout games, which is interesting. Uh, I haven't played enough, certainly on that level, to, to say one way or the other, so I believe you on that. But I feel like the games I've been playing are super fun. Um, like the mechanic, there's a lot more just kind of that back and forth. I steal stuff, you steal stuff, I capture stuff, you capture it, I heal yeah. stuff, you, you damage stuff. Um, I feel like the decisions are a lot like, really meaningful. The enhanced mechanic is great too. I like that a it's lot. It's Nessa. It that just, is Keyforge 101. I do think that the first stream we did with Mass Mutation, it felt like we were on decks that were more on parity the whole time. Yeah. We like, got randomly. Two of these games, the first game I didn't feel that way, but the, the last two, the middle one particularly, but then this one even, it's like it just felt like I had a scenario that I was fighting against the whole mm -hmm. time instead of like making you react to whatever it is I'm doing. That second deck was insane that I was playing. That was the one where I literally felt like every hand, it was just like, yeah. I can answer anything that you're doing. Like, I can get rid of bad creatures, I can get a bunch of amber. And, and as you're doing it, you do doing amber. Yeah. That, that's the real trick. And I think that's where, like... Everything had the pip. A lot of times, those high, <clears throat> high sass decks will recognize that, where it's like, if you just naturally can play your cards out and gain enough amber, and then the cards that you're playing are controlling your opponent, yep. That's really good. That's just yeah, generically that's, good. That's key, winning Keyforge right there. Yeah. Put it in the Yeah. Put that it in was the super tea. fun. Super fun. That was super fun. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you, uh, of course, we do have subscriptions for Keyforge. So if you want to just get X number of boxes for uh, these. the sets that come out, you can sign up. Uh, it's a little bit different. Like normally with like Arkham and Champions, it makes a lot of sense because every month there's a new product coming out and it's annoying to keep up with. 
with Keyforge, it's just like, do you just want one box or two box every every six months? If you do, sign if up. you know you're going to play and you want the decks, then sign up. They're 20% off as normal. Free shipping, um, too. Free shipping, yeah. So we'll send you some boxes if you want them. You don't have to think about it again. And I just linked to the Dark Amber again. Those are, again, limited edition. They're only going to be available. Only, we're only going to do one run of these. Yeah. We'll take pre-orders. We'll, pr we'll do one run of them, and then we won't sell them, uh, at least again in the near term. We could bring them back for some reason, maybe holidays or whatnot, but it's, I, unlikely. it's unlikely. Yeah, it's, it, unlikely. it's the kind of thing where, like, I don't want to box us in. Yeah, it, we have we've done that before in the past. It's like this is exclusive to this, and it's like it'd be really nice if we could actually do this. If again. we could sell this again, uh, like but ultimately, <laughs> you know, Dark Amber is a kind of a thematic thing in the game. It's not a mechanical thing, and then also uh, having too many SKUs and having things that aren't necessarily being in full production all the time doesn't really make sense for us. So we wanted to be able to do it because we thought it was a cool idea. Which I, I like. I I wanted to be able to have them, the dark amber. We do more of that these days. Yeah, but uh, we're doing it in the way that's actually feasible for us to do, which is offering them for a pre-order for a limited time. We'll make all those orders, and then they'll be gone, gone for good. So if you want them, get them. I link to them. We it's appreciate kind of, you being here. It's kind of that minimum viable audience concept, isn't it? It absolutely is. You guys is. want this? Yeah. All right, we'll print them and we'll be done with it. And then we're out of here. So we appreciate it. It was great having you. Thank you so much for all the uh, interaction on chat and the help of the rules. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We're coming. We're gonna throw them back to ashes tomorrow. Yeah, so catch the about. ashes stream tomorrow. It's gonna be and a lot of fun. Friday, I finally get my upgraded survival knife for my Zoe deck for Arkham, which I'm super excited about. But we're streaming five days a week. Also, if you haven't heard it, we have a weekly podcast called The Covenant Cast. We're doing a mini series right now called How to Ruin a Game. Yeah, and it's been uh, been a nice little series. So check that out and stay safe until we see you again. Take care, everybody.